Hello? Hello, hello? Hello! <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, Gooby. How you doing? Craig is today's first. How you doing, Craig? Gooby's today's... Well, third? Second? Third? Uh, both? Either? Very pre cozy. Thank you. I'm 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 wearing new new drip today. Um, by the way, um, I mean you can probably tell that it says name collective because that's kind of what <laughs> everything that I wear is just name collective nowadays. But it's just so good. It's so comfy. It's so comfy, and it's huge, and I love it. But yeah, I'm also in a very good mood today because. I don't know, I feel like I've been able to do a, a lot today. I, even though it hasn't been a lot, a lot, but it's just, it, it feels like I have been doing a lot today. Um, so, feeling good, feeling good. I hope you guys are doing well today as well. Um, no, you've been missing for a little bit. Has the setup changed? Loving the new background? Yes, it has. Well, I mean, it's changed back to what it used to be. Because it used to be like this before, but then I changed the way it was before this, and then I changed back. <laughs> so now it's, I just, I needed a change, and it feels better to not have a whole lot of space behind me. So, this is what we did, did now. I, I, I think I did this on... I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was like Friday, Thursday or Friday. I don't know. Um, yeah, so it, it hasn't been too long. It hasn't been a whole week. Um, is that real fire? No, <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't. Um, but it, it, it used to be, uh, I used to have real candles before. Uh, but it, it just feels like a little bit of a waste. So now th they are battery uh, candles. <laughs> a Vepsy new Undertale gifts? Yes, yes, Craig. Yes, they are. Um, also, I'm glad that you recognized that it was Undertale. <laughs> yeah, in my in my starting soon screen, there is also one. But uh, this is from from because Toby Fox uh, released a new newsletter today um and he usually posts some some gifts and stuff there and they're usually related to whatever season it is because he 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 gives like quarterly um updates in newsletters so last year i also had some some summer related ones and autumn related ones i think it was just winter that i didn't use but yeah, so he, he usually has some, some, uh, it's not necessarily gifts though. Sometimes it's just, yeah, I think last time I used one of Alphys on, on the beach, on like a beach towel with a, with a parasol. I used to have that on stream. <laughs> Real battery powered fire. Mm, exactly. Battery powered fires are ex cr crazy explosive, but we we're gonna we're gonna try to to avoid that. We're gonna try to avoid that. Hopefully, it'll be okay. But hey, Palm, today second. <laughs> I'll be doing well today, Palm Alarm. Undertale was great. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. I still have not done like every single route i have not done a um genocide route but i have done the the neutral one and uh, the pacifist one i've done those both on stream and actually both of them were uh, i actually have the full vod of my first playthrough of, El uh, of Elden Ring, by the way, of, of Undertale as well, which was rare at the time because I think I only did it because they were so short. 
Like it was just a... I don't know. I don't know why I did it, but I did. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that I did. So they are actually on YouTube. Um, I have not uploaded the second one though. I don't think. Oh, Gobi, thank you for the 69 butts. But <laughs> thank you for the 69 butts, Gobi. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah. So today we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna play uh, Weko again, which is a 3D platformer. It says that it's a Souls like, but I don't understand how. I feel like a lot of games just feel like slapping on the 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 tag souls like or metroidvania it's like either souls like or metroidvania but it doesn't really make any sense it's like it could have some elements of it but very very little but with this one i don't really see any of the souls soulsness <laughs> I, I don't see it, so I, I don't understand. I don't really know because it doesn't have the thing where you leave behind your, your your souls when you die, so you have to go pick it up. And it doesn't have difficult bosses; like they're super easy. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. There's like nothing specifically souls-like about it that I can think of. Um, so I, I do under, uh, I do wonder why they, they call it that, but if, even so, like, either way, it is, it is a fun game. Hold on, maybe I forgot to change something here. Um, because it says in Stars in Time now in, in the tags. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Uh, hey, Valence, how you doing? It's a marketing tactics, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, but... They can't just lie. Well, I mean, people lie all the time, but... How you doing, Valence? I, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Um, coming back with all the butts. As you should, as you should. <laughs> well, I mean, not, not the bits part, but like... The butts, yes. Um... <laughs> Has health, stamina, and stuff in bottom left map to D-pad. Must be souls. That's true. That's true. It does have the things uh, at the bottom there. Uh, <laughs> at the bottom there. <laughs> but it's still not. It's still not. Um... Yeah, and it's also not attached to the D-pad, I don't think. I didn't use the D-pad. So. Fake, fake, no. But it it is cozy and chill and fun though. I do like it. It's just it has it, it's it's not it's not what it it says that it is. It's very very similar to Zelda though. You can tell that it's like it's almost like they've copied um, the Zelda formula a little bit. <laughs> but I don't mind. I don't mind. Marketing is lying. I mean, it's true. It, it is true. But they tend to be a little bit more clever about it, you know? A little bit more clever. Mm, Waco didn't look remotely Souls-like to you. Didn't You don't like Souls-like and you like Waco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Action adventure isn't Souls-like. No, I know. I know. It, it is something a bit more specific than that. But yeah, I mean... They do say that... Um, Dark Souls is also slightly inspired by Zelda games as well. But I couldn't say how. Because I haven't really played uh, any Zelda games. Because I like I've only played... Well, I mean, of the original ones. I've only played Breath of the Wild and, and um, Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't played any of the older ones. So I can't say. But I have heard that. I have heard that. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is a soul's like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Every game is just a soul's clone now. It's true. It's true. 
You hear I am a souls like? In what way? I'm curious now. Am I am I am I frustrating? <laughs> Do you need patience to beat me? No. I'm what I I what? <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and what did you come here for? I don't know. I don't know. What did you come here for, Ryan? <laughs> Welcome in, though, Ryan. Uh, you just sat down. <laughs> well, I'm just... <laughs> Your game is in the souls like until Iron Pineapple plays it. Who, who the fuck is Iron Pineapple? Is that a streamer? Because if it's a streamer or a YouTuber, I do not know anything. Um, <laughs> I, do, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> Uh, I have undone. Yeah, I was waiting for you to notice. I, I was waiting for you to notice. <laughs> it's also in my starting tune screen. Just, just look, look. Well, I mean, I'm pointing, but you can't see. And the the, the doggo. It's the doggo. Well, Antorio, but but yeah. Um. You had to do <laughs> it's the YouTuber? The YouTuber. I feel like that that's something people would say about a lot of them though. I don't know. But yeah, it's the it's the doggo. <laughs> um But yeah, it's Undyne here. Uh, but she's not dying. She's she's undying in front of the fan. Um, never heard of them either, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I'm just I'm just not really in the loop when it comes to, to any any content creators, except people that I, you know, have gotten to know personally. Well, as personally as you can without actually meeting them in person. You know what I mean. <laughs> But like when it comes to some like bigger ones, I know very very few. And if I know the name, I don't know how like what they look like. I don't have a face attached to the name or anything. And I might have seen their face and don't know what their name is. <laughs> it's like th that that's the level that I am at when it comes to streamers and and YouTubers uh, of a certain level. You also know very little of the big streamers, YouTubers. Mm. Yeah, I just, I, it never really appealed to me. Like, I didn't even, I didn't watch a single stream or streamer until I started streaming myself. I just jumped into it and, and then I started looking into other streams to like, well, seeing as I'm on Twitch now, I might as well check it out and see wh what other people do. <laughs> Like, that's... I did things a little bit backwards, I think. Um, but it's, you know... That's, uh... That's how it is. I like to learn as I go. I don't I don't like to have everything figured out and then do things. I just want to try and fail as I go. <laughs> and there was a lot of trial and error. Um... He doesn't have a, a face. He's just an armored Dark Souls dude. Oh, I see. Well, I probably don't know who it is. Uh, either way. You recognize a lot of names, but have no clue what they look or act like. Mm. It's not a contest? Wait, what do you mean contest? Who is who is contending? Angels place a ton of souls likes. Hmm. I think the closest that I know of anyone who does um soul stuff is like body body media that's like the <laughs> that's the close i can get to like a youtuber who does souls type of content um i can't remember who 
But there's a channel that has a running joke that they're so old, not only do they not know streamers, but also modern musicians. This leads to hilarious moments like, you never heard of Taylor Swift? No, do they stream Minecraft or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do have to admit, though, I do know Taylor Swift. Would you say that she's a, a modern musician? Well, I mean, she is, but like... She's definitely not an up-and-coming one anymore. So it's like, I understand if you know who that is, even if you're not up to speed. Because there's a lot of musicians that I don't know at all that are like super popular. I don't know anything anymore. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm basically a hermit on, on the internet as well, as well as in real life. I don't really like big creators, to be honest. There's no sense of community to you, and half the time they end up being awful people. True, true. Yeah, I mean, the the whole point of streaming, in in my opinion, is to to like hang out and and talk and and be part of a community and know the the, the streamer as well, you know. And they know you in a way, not like. Yeah, you know, it, that, that's that's the whole point, in my opinion, but... No, but this guy's, this guy's musical knowledge topped out in the 90s. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, exactly. Mm. It's weird, uh, Twitch, to have it in their ULA that if you make 500,000 subs, you need to send unsolicited Richard pictures to a minor. Wait, what? What? What 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 is What is a Richard picture? <laughs> Was that a typo? It's like is that a typo or are you see like I don't I don't let's see I don't even understand what you just said. Um I'll got mad at you because you said if she got super famous with like 10k 20k average viewer viewers you wouldn't be around as much but why did you have to say that though it's like i understand I, like i understand i wouldn't i would probably not be as interested in, in hanging out in someone's dream anymore either at that point but i wouldn't tell them <laughs> I, do, I wouldn't tell them unless well i mean if they asked maybe but not out of nowhere. Uh, just how every big Twitch celeb gets caught for doing dodgy stuff. Oh, in English, the name Richard is shortened to- Oh. Oh. Well, I do know that, but I just didn't put two and two together at all. I've never heard anyone say that. Like, you can say the word. So, uh, yeah, I'm- I- <laughs> I didn't I didn't understand but then I like I do know that I just I'm slow okay I'm slow at catching on um but it's fine it's fine you don't remember it was part of the conversation mm. nickname for Richard I think dad man calls him that sometimes um <laughs> no is it Sar I think Sarger calls him that sometimes um Yeah, Orion, Orion caught on before I did. <laughs> um, like this disrespecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were being polite. I, I, well, that's new. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I said. Who's though? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a good that's a good thing to to. If you get unsolicited uh, pictures like that sent to you, then you can just keep them and use them for later, so you can send it to Twitch. Um, wait, was it to Twitch you said? <laughs> well, not to Twitch, but from well, anyway. Um, 
See, I'm just, my brain is not here at the moment. But you, I think you know what I meant. I hope so. If, if, yeah. Hey, Tusta. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like right on cue. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about me, is what she wanted to say. <laughs> um. Looks like you have blanket permission for me to, what, to say, well, n no, well, within reason. <laughs> uh, how did we get here? Um, I need a Vepric Richard emote of a very formally dressed chap. <laughs> uh, it's just, wait. It's just so many YouTubers from ages past have come out to be horrible people. I know, I know. Not just YouTubers, just... Yeah. It's like, sometimes I'm wondering if it's, if that is the reason why they try so hard to get to the, to that status, because it makes it easier to get away with stuff, because you, we all know that the more money you have, the more, like, the more fame you have, the more you can get away with. Especially if you're a man. I mean, I guess only, almost only, if, exclusively if you're a man. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, have those unsolicited pictures. <laughs> Wait, what? change of topics shock and corruption no thank you maybe some other time mm. yeah that that was that was <laughs> right that was pretty spot on <laughs> uh, that was a pretty spot on i moved well i moved the monocle one to tier three because no one used it the only reason why i move uh emotes to a higher tier or a higher bit uh spot is because if people don't use them and people didn't use it you blanked out after keep them for later <laughs> uh, hey do you see pop time is posting cat pictures no pa a little cat emotes now so it responds to kitties but not cats um It's difficult for women to send unsolicited Richard pictures, though. Well, it depends on... Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the woman, I suppose. <laughs> Is it tier 3 emotes? <laughs> Unless they saved them up and not sent them to Twitch. Can I... Wait, what, what do you... I think... Pom, I think you're crossing some sort of line here. I can't say exactly what it is, but I feel like you are. You can't just ask people that. And if you did, then it wouldn't be unsolicited either. Because it was, it was basically solicited. <laughs> Uh, Richard reveal. <laughs> women can just Google them and send them. Plenty of women have Richard, though. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It depends on the woman. That is very much a solicited Richard feature. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, though. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm sorry to say, but I I don't have anything. Um, I don't even have anything on hand. Like, I was like, don't, don't take that literally, <laughs> Can we see the tier three Richard? <laughs> but don't word it like that then. Uh, hold on. You mean this one? But that's, that's not Richard. It's foe. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, you guys, you guys. Um. Faux, 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 Richard. Mm. Hey, Tushta. 407. Mm. I think it's official. That's Richard now. No, that's faux. But yeah, so... What was it that I was going to say? I was going to mention something else today. But I don't remember. Tier 3 Richard looks uh, intently on other Richard pictures with their monocle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only response. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna continue playing Weko the Mask Gatherer. Which is, um, well, we have established that it isn't a Souls-like. Um, it is a Zelda-like, though. I think that's the thing, right? I do hear people call things that sometimes, so. <laughs> Hello. I am a conveniently timed distraction. What's your favorite sandwich? Mine is anything except steak. Steak? Good one. Good one. <laughs> uh I like I like the pun. I like the pun. Understandable though. I the thing is I feel like the 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 sandwich thing oh like i know you didn't actually ask i know it's supposed to be a joke but we don't really have that here it's like we don't like different types of sandwiches is not really a thing here like we don't have named sandwiches we just we just have bread with with whatever on it <laughs> it's like it's not like an established uh type of sandwich you know, we we don't have that here. <laughs> it's not really a thing. Um, it's like bread, yeah, or like toasted bread. And in English, toast is different as well. Yeah, but it's like it's not just bread. It's also like the thing in between. But it's like we don't have specific names for them. What is your favorite whatever to go on the bread? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any. I haven't really thought of it. <laughs> hey, Marty! Hello! Hello! I haven't really thought of it, to be honest, because... Then I would have, like, p p compared them all in my head beforehand. Like... What is best out of all of these? Because it's, like, it's not even a category. So it's, like... I feel like it doesn't apply to to us here. Um, but yeah, let us just get into the game, I think. I think we can get into the game. Um, I mostly don't even do double bread sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Don't they call that like an open sandwich or something? I don't know. There's so many n names for everything <laughs> in English. Uh, but it's nothing in between because it's toasted toast bread and stuff like butter and cheese or ham, or whatever, or cucumber or anything in air, air on top. Yeah. <laughs> Need to do a baguette tasting stream. I. I think I do not. <laughs> I, do, I don't eat on stream. I eat before and after. I don't I don't like eating on stream. You you won't see me do that. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that it can't happen, but it's like most likely it won't happen. Um 
said it's so complicated. Palm said it so simply. What are you going for? <laughs> Mukbang. No. No. That would scare people away. More than anything. Um, I feel like most people in my community both hate ASMR and, and like any any type of uh, eating sounds so no one would be left <laughs> no one would be left <laughs> open sandwiches but but here they're just muck what i've never heard that before this word always makes you uncomfortable honestly same um, but it's because muck is like, it sounds like muck, which is dung in Norwegian. <laughs> it's basically dung. Uh, this is like, it's not something you want to associate with food. Uh, but yeah, it's different languages, you know? You can't stand mouth sounds or eating sounds. Exactly, exactly. Um... But the ba baguette in each hand, one butter and brie and one ham and cheese. What? <laughs> okay, we can do the A some more. Um, okay. Okay, there we. Well, it's not actually some more. I'm just, I'm just very soft spoken. Um, uh, but did you like other A some more stuff? There's this whole thing in Britain, Britain where there's a million. A million, by the way. A million different regional variants that cause civil wars. <laughs> like, um... Kind of like with the... Wait, what was the word again? Pa uh... What was it? I forgot the name. I forgot the word. You really don't want to associate Muck with Bang. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you just think of Muck the Pokemon? Mm. Well, I mean, it's not far off because he looks like a pile of dung, so. Um. Is it literally from other language? Yeah, we, we know that, but it's just when you associate it with something that is. that has. A very similar sounding word in your own language. It's hard to separate the two, even though you know it's not the same. Tap the mic. mic. <laughs> the English invented the sandwich. Mm -mm. Earl Grey, the sandwich man. Sounds about right. Earl of sandwich, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do it formally and tap the mic. No, stop it. Wait, Michael? Oh, yeah, because I was like, wait. I thought it was Richard. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think we were tapping the Richard on the street. <laughs> no, we're not. That's why. That's why I like stopped to think. Wait, what are you just? What are you? What are you asking right now? What are you saying? <laughs> Michael, check. Yeah, but hey, they're very. You know, they're very. Basic names, you know, ah! Michael and Richard. Ah! It's like they're they're the same, same but different. You know, you know. It's like same f flavor, but different. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> Let's just get into the game. <laughs> the good old holding hands with a Michael and Richard. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, let me pause the music so I can open the game. What if we... <laughs> No! Stop it! I don't know what's going on today. Oh, 
hold on. Let me let me change the game capture. There we go. <laughs> Some helping of Robert. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you name your mic uh, after your favorite character in Mi Mission Impossible. And that is. <laughs> a video game. Yeah, yeah. Mike Hunt. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I watched any any uh, Mission Impossible movie, so I don't even know the name of the characters. That's... <laughs> See, I'm very slow today. I mean, it's not like it's unusual for me, but... I feel like it's it's on a different level today. Uh, two hours. Just as she's sharpening her claws on the carpet. Wait, why is the why is there no sound, dude? I forgot what to do. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. There's no sound. Hold on. Like, I can't hear it either, so it's not just, um... Uh, hold on. Settings... Doesn't say anything, though. That's weird. Why is there no sound? Oh. Let's see, let's see. I need to check on the volume mixer, I think. Mm -mm. Very strange. It doesn't say anything here. I don't know what's going on. I can't hear anything. You guys can't hear anything. Um, gotta go pick uh, amps up from work and then do some exciting stuff like buy a new light bulb for the fridge. Leave <laughs> on an onion. I appreciate that. Be safe, though. Let's try to close the game and, and open it again. See if that helps. Sorry for... for <sighs> well... The thing is, I didn't even understand what, what you were going for there until I... Um, Oh, there we go. There we go. Until you apologize, I'm like, oh, oh, that's what you were doing. <laughs> See what I mean? It just keeps on happening. I'm just very, very slow today. Everyone forgets the better command. Wait, what? What command? Oh, the 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 lurk command. I mean, do you- can you blame- can you blame them, though? <laughs> uh... Danger, poison water. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Under- Dirge allerge- Lurky lurge? Mm. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I did that. Uh... So where can I go now? Ow. Yeah. 
Because this is where I end up leaving the area. Uh, you back already? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Need to put on some laundry. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And you also, good good luck with the laundry. I also did laundry today. Don't get tangled up in some sheets or anything. Um... I mean, it's this area, but it's it's cold. I can't go there, so this is not some place that I can go right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how do I dash again? No, um, dash. I say. Oh, never mind. Um, we don't end up leaving the area by going through the door. That's the sprint button. <laughs> it's been it's been a few days. Okay, I can't remember all the controls. It's it's we'll, we'll figure it out. But I wish it didn't say leave the area when you're actually not leaving the area. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't done this. Uh, so we need to switch out this one. Wait. Um, how did I do that again? No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's, that's how you do that. Relearning the controls can be a little bit difficult sometimes, you know? Yeah, we have not been here yet. <gasps> Dodo village. Oh, are they... Are there dodo birds? Well, they're birds. Um... <laughs> Is this Dodo Village? It's a breath of uh, a fresh air after the dark forest, so bright and welcoming. Maybe someone around here knows more about prim primordial masks. I've heard talk of a mo mask mausoleum. Mausoleum, by the way. Mausoleum, by the way. <laughs> museum. <laughs> Mask museum. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know what's going on with my brain today. Um, let's go, Waco. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Mausoleum, yeah. Oh well. It do be like that sometimes. This seems nice, though. Dodo Village, welcome visitor. This is the home of the Dodo people. This village thrives under the watchful eye of our Princess Didi. Didi from Dodo. <laughs> okay. It's a pleasant place all year round, where the Prince's wise decisions keep everything in harmony. Enjoy your stay. Ah, a traveler. It's rare to see new faces these days. Uh, you must tread carefully. Our lands are in peril. The water source from the snow-covered mountains uh, mountain has dried up, making it easier for ghouls to invade our surroundings. As a result, we've had to close off the village for safety. What makes it worse is that our princess, the only one who can speak with the Tengu sh uh, shaman that oversees the mountain, has fallen gravely ill. She's the key to solving all our problems. 
I see, I see. <gasps> we got chickens. Last time, see, they're following me. Last time it was, they were pigs. Can you follow me, all of you? All three, all, all two. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Uh, hey there, baby bird. Ever heard the melodies of a true dodo? This town has such great vibes, mate. I love strumming my guitar here. But you know what? I've been thinking of adding my voice to the mix, and I need a microphone for that. So if you happen to come across one, I'd be super duper grateful. And if you do find one, I never forget about my fans, baby bird. I'll even give you a vinyl of my newest rock album, signed by yours truly. So what do you say? Ready to help a dodo out? Sure. Whoa, you're quick. Wait, looks like you don't have the microphone yet. No worries. Once you find it, just swing by. Remember my newest rock album on vinyl awaits. Interesting, because we got a quest from a different one, a different person in the other village. Who said that he would give us a microphone as a reward. And I was like, wait, what do what I need a, need a microphone for? I guess, I guess we found out. The area outside the village is off limits, for us dodos anyways. But I did hear that the curator of the museum knows how to open it. We sealed this for the village's safety. I see, I see. Look at all the burbs! Chonky burbs. Mask Museum. Welcome to the Mask Museum. Do not touch anything. These mask masks are ancient artifacts steeped in history and mystery. History and mystery. Oh, I didn't mean to pick it up, but you know, I'm that's okay. I knew there was a reason that I was supposed to pick them up. <laughs> Hello, little green. My nine pew have scattered all over the village. They're drawn to the egg-shaped houses and thinking they're real eggs. The village is too big for me to search for my own. If you come across them, can you bring them back to their coop? I'd be so thankful. Sure. I mean, I already kind of... started. <laughs> Pew. No, shut up. I'm still jamming out here, but I'm missing that microphone. I think you can find one from- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to talk to you. I have my own business to attend to. Which is technically not my business at all, but... I'm helping someone else with their business, is what I mean. Hello. I wish I could dash. No, why do I keep saying dash? I wish I could sprint while um, carrying stuff. What's up, Ryan? You have Excel problem and can't find a solution because you don't know what you're looking for in Excel terms. What are you looking for in non-Excel terms, though? You're also frustrated anyway. <sighs> that was a very spontaneous yawn. It couldn't be stopped. <laughs> it seems there's a hidden button within the statue. Interact with it, sure. One of the lights on the central structure illuminates. I'm sorry though, Orion. Hey, Traveler, ever notice these bird statues? I feel like they hide a secret, but I can't figure it out. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's look for more uh, chicons. Yeah. Is this where I came from? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. 
you want to make it so if the number is below x it marks it like something and if it's like above x it does like, calculating hmm could be someone else knows though in chat hey there this door it's locked by the toro mechanisms up mechanism up high the princess has put it there so that the villagers don't open that gate behind me I couldn't open it even if I wanted to, but I'm still guarding this gate, just in case. You've been doing the Stardew Excel sheet thing for the new run challenge thing you want to do? Oh, I see, I see. Hold uh -huh. Traveler, atop this structure lies our beloved princess. Uh -huh. Show caution and respect, do no harm, or you will have me to answer to. Ah, oh, that's okay. I want that chest, though. I've also kind of been tempted to go back to Stardew Valley because it's been so long since I played it. I think the last time I played it was in like 2020 or something. But I have so many other games to play. I feel like I can't replay a bunch of games because I need to get through unplayed games now. I need to get through my backlog. Ah, young traveler. You have the look of someone seeking an answers, am I correct? Uh, sh sure. I've seen many seasons and have a tale or two to share. Our princess, she is the only one who can converse with the mountain shaman, Tengu. She's fallen ill and our village is in peril without her guidance. So if you're looking for answers... Seek out the doctor just above us. He's been trying to find a cure for the princess's ailment. Hmm. What is going on here? On PC? Yeah. I only have it on PC. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know about the new update, but... And I've seen some other people stream it as well. But it's like... thought of starting a brand new playthrough just I don't know I don't know if I want to <laughs> it's not on consoles yet mm. ah curious about the idols are you their purpose is more than just decoration uh, these four idols play a vital role in our village's history old tales say that when the idols were gone a big cold hit the uh, hit the village the thought alone chills my feathers. Hmm, is this a hint as to what we need to do to enter the other area where it was too cold before? This idol feels ancient, radiating a gentle warmth. Look at this old structure, traveler. Its fire kept alive by the idols wraps our village in warmth. That blue fire holds the cold at bay, making sure winter's chill doesn't touch us. As long as the idol stands, so does our shield against the snow. Okay. Oh! She called- wait, no. <laughs> this- this one we can't do anything about. It's a statue. Seems there's a hidden button. Yeah. <gasps> Chicone. I feel kind of bad for this, but it's fine. It's fine. You're not a bird. Are you a cat? You look like a cat. Ludo. <laughs> hey, little green. You know, there was someone very smart who once lived here for a short time. He was working on building a robot, all to protect his young son. Why? We can only guess. But just as quickly as he appeared, he disappeared one day. No one has seen or heard from him since. 
I see, I see. So... Oh, there's a chest. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know I could jump on the... The door frame. Nice. Hmm. But yeah, nowadays I kind of just play games that don't have any any story or any any dialogue or interactions. It's kind of what I feel like. God damn it. Um. When I'm not streaming. <laughs> so the thought of, of starting a new story driven game off stream is just not it for me right now. <laughs> uh... Unless it's Baldur K3, but you know, that's different. That's a different thing. <laughs> But I haven't really started a new one there either. I actually find it really difficult to to sit down and, and play it, even on the one that I have going, that is in Act Three, because I feel like I need to sit down for several hours if I'm gonna do it. Hey, so Dodd, how you doing? Missed me? I missed you too. I mean, uh, what do you, you what do you know been up to though? Lurk, may, may, maybe the may the force be with you. Thank you. May the force be with you too, mom. And the laundry. It seems there's a hidden button. And uh, there was a bunch of other stuff in Stardew Valley than the story, but you think get what you mean? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, because it's the, the non-story part that I'm interested in. <laughs> it's just, I don't I don't want to deal with, like, people and, and interactions and stuff. That's kind of the part of the game as well. There's a certain strength about you. Perhaps it's those many masks you bear. You also look familiar. Have we met before? Regardless, our beloved princess is unwell, and I'm in dire need of some rare ingredients to create create a cure. Three twisted horns hoarded by great ghouls. The gates leading to where these ghouls reside are locked, and the guards won't open them for anyone. Do you want to help us? Ah, uh, sure. Hmm, show me how many twisted horns you have. Hmm, it's not enough. I need three in total to craft the potion for the princess. The great ghouls that carry these horns are outside the village. You will need to find a way to obtain the remaining horns. I'm guessing I need to take the, the balloon there to, to whatever place it is. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot that there was an ad. <laughs> um, you've been cleaning and taking laundry away and cleaning the kitchen? Nice. So it seems like you've had a productive day. Do you mean like because you need to socialize to get some items or recipes or like just because they're like humans? Well, it's mostly just because it's a huge part of the game. I can't just skip it even though like I probably could maybe, but that's that would kind of take away the point of the game. And if I like the things that I would want to do in the game, I can probably figure out a, a different game that I can play that can, can can fulfill that role better. Technically could not speak with them or like skip the dialogues, but yeah, yeah. Can I enter here now? No. A 
Let's change to the glider. Hey, Chicone. Um, but welcome back from the ads. I completely forgot that there was an ad break until it was too late. <laughs> But we're back, we're back. Um, I haven't done anything though. <laughs> let's see, let's go in here. Pastry chef. Want to try being a pastry chef? It's simple. I'll let you experiment. Every chef has their secrets. Who knows, maybe you'll find yours. Maybe. Um, add cheese, add flour, add milk. Wait, do I have any of those things? Or do I just pull them out of thin air? Uh, add flour. It seems you're missing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. We need to, we need to collect stuff. Back from the ads officially. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, but yeah, I just said that uh, seems like you've had a productive day so far. I'm doing good though. I'm doing good. Um, I've also had a fairly productive day today. So it's not too bad. Yeah, this is the only place we haven't been yet. Well, the, this and, and one of the houses, I think. Um, how many do we have now? Okay, we're missing one. <gasps> Cots. Ah, damn. That's what I was afraid of. It's kind of stupid that you get fall damage from that small jump there. It's like, what is the point of that? <gasps> There's a Chicone over here as well. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, that's not where I threw you. Well, I mean, it was, but that's not where I meant to throw you. Um, it has been a few productive days so far, trying to deep clean your house. Hmm, that's good, that's good. <gasps> Hello, traveler. Welcome to my egg-shaped abode. Interesting design, right? We dodos have a, a flair for unique archite architecture. I believe it. I believe it. Hello, traveler. Always a pleasure to see new faces. Do you like the design of our house? It's quite unique. Sure, sure. Um, you decide a petition to eliminate fall damage only for this game. <laughs> well, fall damage is fine. It's just the 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 fall damage is kind of ridiculous here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wonder if I have two elephants living above me. It's like, how can two people stomp that much and be... Like, they're... and just be regular human beings, you know? Uh, where's the, the, the hole for the chickens? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Only one more to go. Um, but yeah, today I've actually had a really productive day in, in the sense that I... Um, <clears throat> I... Oh yeah, the w last one is here. Hold on. Well, I've done laundry. Not super productive, but it is, it is something. Oh, there's a statue over there too. I need to... And uh, what was it that I was going to say? Dude, no. Yeah. 
and I used the walking pad for about 40-ish minutes. So that was pretty, pretty good. Um, I walked so much yesterday that I was really dead uh, all day. So I wasn't sure if I had the energy to do it, but I did today. You did it! You gathered all the pew. They can be quite mischievous, mistaking our house for eggs. Here's a little something for your trouble. You've been a great help. <gasps> what did I get? <gasps> oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Looks like a fun area, never mind at all. <laughs> uh, I think this was also the last one. It was. It was. And what was the last thing? Yeah, um... And I finally got to sit outside and read. Uh, I usually don't sit outside as much these days because... Well, I have a really annoying neighbor. And I don't like sitting outside when I know that he can just walk past every single time I sit there and I don't like it. What? You figured out my puzzle? Well, I suppose you might be smart enough to venture outside. Stay safe. Thank you. Laundry is good. Taking it away can be a chore. Walking pad sounds fun. You thought of getting one yourself. Low walking, but lots of times it's just too hot. I definitely recommend it. It's also... I mean, I know you live in an area that is pretty much warm all year round, right? But at least it's easier to control the temperature uh, in your own house. Dude, why do you lock onto that one? I didn't change the lock on. But yeah, I mean, mine can go pretty fast as well. Well, I mean, it's it's meant to be for walking, so it's like it doesn't work the exact same as a as a treadmill in that sense. But I also don't really like jogging or running, so I'm fine with being able to just walk fast. I think you can go up to like six. Um. Is it six kilometers per hour or something? And I think that's pretty good. I haven't really tried to go at the fastest though. I think I, I tend to just stop at like five and, and a half, like 5.5. .5. Tanky dude. Ow, what? So my shield didn't work there? Dude, I can't see. Taken from beastly ghouls roaming outside a dodo village. Gather three to heal the princess. Yes. Uh, need to get rid of neighbors so we can read outside or make a small village with all of us. I agree with that. I also want a small village for all of us. I would also like that.
Mm, that's a dangerous quantum. <laughs> I found function that looks like it should work, but it doesn't. Oh. Okay, so what I need to do is... Wait, this is... This is not where I came from. Okay, I'm just gonna heal up at the... the, the I was gonna say the grace. <laughs> at the grace. I didn't go in here, did I? I did not. <gasps> it's a fox! Guys, it's a fox mask. I need it. Ah, greetings, traveler. Welcome to the Mask Museum. Over the years, I've collected some of the most unique and exquisite masks from all over the world. Feel free to admire them, but please refrain from touching anything. Speaking of, see that majestic fox-headed mask at the center? It once belonged to an ancestor, and it's incomplete. Uh, and it's incomplete without its wooden pipe. My brother mentioned that he might have found it. He lives in the dark forest. If you bring that pipe to me, I know how to open one of those gates that lead to the outside of the village. I've left a chest on the other side. If you made it through the dark forest, I'm sure you can handle whatever is lurking outside of these walls. Sure. <gasps> the missing piece. Yeah, I did have the. I did have the the pipe. That's true. Look at it. I was gonna say before I got the pipe that uh, it's me because I'm also using glasses. I'm also wearing glasses. <laughs> It's it's me, but I don't smoke. I don't smoke. It's hot there. You sometimes like to walk and take uh, a book so you can find a park or tree or just go to a place with AC and read. In the past few weeks, you've been reading in the bus again, too. Hmm. That sounds good. Uh, maybe you did it anyways? Wait, what do you mean? You did what? Uh, find a solution for the, the Excel thing. It is a fox, yeah. You can have a bookstore and manga cafe and local movie theater and... Yes, and a fox mask. We can also have that. <laughs> it's a me. But yeah, you figured it out, Ryan. I'm glad. That's good to hear. The mask looks complete now, doesn't it? As promised, I'll open that door for you. Take care, that path is not safe. And the... Gorbusier mask? Wait, what is that word? <laughs> now complete with its pipe. Symbolizes the sage who spoke in thoughtful smoke and riddles. Hmm. The Samurab mask stands as a monument to valiant soul. Samurab, by the way, not samurai. <laughs> Celebrated for their unwavering strength and bravery. I love masks. For me, they are the most beautiful thing in the world. Or mu most beautiful things in the world. Do you want to know more about them? Sure. Each mask here represents more than just art. They capture the energy and emotion of a soul at the time of their passing. Every co uh, conscious being, when they leave this world, leaves behind a mask. It's a manifestation of their very essence. However, when the spirit of a co conscious being is too weak, it creates a simple soul instead of a mask. Sometimes I look around and ponder, what will my own mask look like? It's kind of sad, though, not being able to know what your mask would look like, because you will be dead anyway. You would cry if you weren't so frustrated or something, but why are you frustrated now? You figured it out. Doesn't you feel nice, just okay, that you got it to work? Oh, I'm sorry. Chat- <laughs> chat mouflage. A tribute to one famed for their stealth and cleverness, now remembered as a symbol of ingenuity. A mask of joy from the shaman Milka, cherished for infusing happiness in all nearby beings. Pretty, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say that that one is very pretty, but... The... Pharomachris mask, with its wise gaze, honors the memory of one whose sight insights guided many. 
The King Coach Mask is a testament to one who ruled with justice and led their people with a firm yet benevolent hand. The Bird Lude, uh, the Bird Lude <laughs> Mask represents a spirit as free and joyful as the birds, a testament to a life of unbound delight. Sendalp's Mask, a gentle reminder of a being who was a bastion of kindness, often misunderstood and unapproached. Hmm. Well, that was all the masks. Uh, was this the one we opened? No, that's the one we already went to, isn't it? Yeah. No, it isn't. This is a new one. Filled up my health. After the struggle is over, you deserve ice cream and cake <laughs> and sleep. Um, not really, because this is a super optional stuff that you're doing. Mm, I see, I see. Hey, you still deserve all the things, Orion. Yes, kill all the other ones. Dude, stop it. Dude, stop it. I really don't like these. That's all I get? Damn. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say it as like anything, it's just very factual f for you. You don't know how to explain. Optional or not, you're frustrated and therefore you deserve to feel better. You're not really frustrated because of that thing, but that didn't surely help at all. Mm. I see. I'm just trying to get you to kill this one for me. Dude, stop it. up all almost all my potions now and I need to fight this one How can you- how far can you jump? There we 
Scorpio. There we go. We got another twisted horn. We're only missing one. How do I get up there, though? Um, you don't really do like reward stuff like that. It doesn't work for you. For you. Hmm. I see. I see. I mean, it might be better if it doesn't work. If I'm being completely honest, because usually it's just it might not be the smartest thing. I guess. Ah, Traveler, see that massive rock there? It's been blocking the way to the graveyard for as long as anyone can remember. Rumors say the graveyard is haunted. A, a haunted graveyard? You think you get what you guys are trying to say and you do appreciate that even though it's not the thing for you right now or at all? Hmm. That's totally fair, Ryan. Okay, let's see. On the opposite side, I think. No, maybe not opposite side. Uh, well, yeah. We have not gone this way. We have not gone this way. See this shattered structure? Legends whisper of a mighty battle that happened here long ago. Just imagine the force needed to break it like this. Yeah. Well, I do have enough money. Wait, hold on. Let me just uh, get some more, just in case. <gasps> Look at that! It's a little dude. I think we have saved either three or four of those right now, at this point. Hi. Welcome, Riches Grandeco at your service. Talk with the vendor. Ah, this village is too quiet, too serene for my taste. But what can I say? Business is booming and souls don't collect themselves. At least these dodos don't spend their days munching on Hoshis, like the Hoshi villagers. Um. Oh, wait. Hurricane boomerang? Look at the light weapon relic. Wait. This very rare mask reduces your weapon's stamina demands, allowing for more grace and finesse in battle. Huh. I see. Hold on. Uh, behold the hurricane boomerang. This isn't just any relic mask. It amplifies the damage of your boomerang. Let's buy it. Ah, yeah. Um. I mean, I do have a stamina mask already. So if this one is just better than what I have, then I'm going to use this. It's perfect for those who wish to journey a bit longer. Sure. Aha, yeah. Honestly, I can buy all of them. <laughs> just, just to... Um... It's an absolute must for the prudent adventure. It increases life subtly yet significantly. They're pretty cheap, so... Yeah. Buy, buy all the stuff. Yeah. And I still have a, a lot more left, so, you know. Let's see. Oh, damn. I have to equip this to use it? I thought it was just a different boomerang. Okay. 
Wait, I can use both of those? Hold on. I'm kind of confused. Like, can I not choose which one I want to unequip? How does that work? Oh. Uh, grants the wearer the ability to feed the souls of petrified golems. It also slightly improves the wearer's health. Damn, that actually does help quite a bit. This mask of a cunning fox makes it swear sprint faster. I, I do like that I, it's a it's a fox, but it's not the most helpful. It's not super useful. Do it for the fashion souls. If only it was visible. <laughs> well, I guess it is visible because they're hanging in here. I'd never noticed before. <laughs> I literally never noticed before. They're just hanging on, on my backpack. I, I didn't know. <laughs> That's good to know. You know? <laughs> Let's see, we've been there. We have not been there. Uh, we have been there. Okay, so we should just uh, take the, the balloon, I think. I think that's the only thing we haven't done here yet that we can do. That's nice attention to detail. Hmm. <laughs> it's like had an ask. An ask, by the way, an ask. Hmm. I don't even know the context of that one. <laughs> I'm the balloon pilot for Dodo Village. Want to take a fun ride to the zoo? It's super cool, and my big brother lets me fly there since it's not too far. Come on, let's soar through the skies together. Board the balloon. Uh, that makes sense. It's like when the dog eats your homework, but then there's like your mod eats the sub leaves. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's go. If you say so, Streamlabs. <gasps> it's the zoo. Look at all the squishy animals. It's it, are these like Oh, Weko, this pl uh, the Weko, by the way. Weko, this place is adorable. It's like stepping into a whole other world filled with cute animals. The atmosphere here is so lively and fun. Who knows, we might find something special that'll help us on our, our adventure. Let's go, Weko. The pocket lint soup is waiting. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh. They're all cute. Look at the pigs. Oh, they're following me around. <laughs> it's the it's a cat. It's a little cat. What are you? A little deer? Well, that's cute. <gasps> Did a little jump. Yeah. 
They're my friends now. They're all my friends now. <laughs> Let's see. There has to be more here, though. Maybe this this person will ask me to do them a favor or something. Mm. <gasps> it's a hidden chest. More money. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just nothing. I'm so used to just looking for hidden hidden rooms and paths and stuff that I'm just Ah, welcome, welcome. It's not often I get visitors here. I'm just a simple hermit living a quiet life, tending to these adorable creatures. They're my joy, you see. I enjoy my quiet life here with my little animal friends for company. How about a little challenge, eh? My animals need to get back to their cottages for dinner. They're quite particular about their homes. Different diets, you know. If you can bring them to their right coops before the time runs out, I knew that it had to be a time limit. Got a special reward for you. But well, it will cost you 20 souls that go straight to their food, mind you. So are you game? <sighs> sure. Alright, show me what you got. with the car horn. <laughs> no, shit, that was the wrong one. I just saw the same color. <laughs> just saw that it was the same color. <laughs> on the, on the, on the... I really wish that I could dash or sprint with while carrying some 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 of these. I mean it doesn't seem too bad though. But anything that is time just stresses me out anyway. <laughs> There's another one hidden. No, two. No, one. Wait, what? Where was the last one? Oh shit. You you cost me my 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 game. It's not tough. I'm just don't worry, even the best shepherds have their bad days. Whenever you're ready to give it- Yeah, yeah, sure. We can do it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take the one behind the tree first. I knew there was a reason why the, the there was uh, one hiding behind the tree. I just didn't know why. And then I forgot. At least they come running towards me. the last one now here you are
There we go. <laughs> Anything that is time just stresses me out. But we're getting in a mask now, I think. Incredible. I've got quite the knack for this. You may not just me, but all the animals are very happy. Oh, and don't forget to check the chest behind me for your reward. I mean, serve you well on your journey. Yeah, because uh, when we went to the other balloon uh, place, after doing the, the quest there, we got this new fire shield. Swift roll relic. This mask fills its wear with a sense of agility, allowing you to roll more often by using less stamina. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the same as the shield. Mm. Let's see. I don't really have any use for that. I did it! I did do it! So you calculated how much wood you would need for the crafting stuff for a few specific things, not total all wood need, and you know how much, how many trees you would have to hack down? Um, well, I mean, it depends on how, what you need, need it for. It's hard to guess when I don't know what you're gonna make. <laughs> uh, or how many different things you're gonna make. Let's see. It's actually fair. <laughs> like thousands of machines? Damn. Hello, traveler. Aren't the surroundings just lovely today? Sure, sure. Well, if you're gonna have a thousand, like thousands of machines, I would assume that you at least need several thousand trees. No, at well, maybe not trees, but pieces of wood. But no, just just tell me. <laughs> I was tempted to guess, but now I'm like, you know, just, just tell me. There's one other locked door. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, I can just... Oh! I didn't even look at it. But I can just use the boomerang. Dude, I was... There we go. What? You've activated the Toro up there? How? Well, you must have some skills. Maybe enough skills to venture beyond thy gates, even. Fine, I'll let you pass. I well, think. you. Uh, don't... Net know the exact number of the machines. When you chop a tree, it gives 12 to 16 wood, and the stump gives 4, uh, four to 9, so in minimum it will be around 13,600 trees, and maximum around 21,300 trees. But wait, why do you need so many? How, why do you need so many machines? Dude, I wasn't ready. Dude, why did I not use the... You would need tons of wood for other stuff as well, but to uh, save, say to say, you would be buying tons of it. Mm.
Aua! I don't even care if I take damage now. Okay, so that's not the only one. Or do I just have to kill every enemy here? It's not just that one. Like you think you if you get from top of your head cinder sap forest has like 20 30 trees you think but you're only making tree farms anyways you want to make your own 999 challenge where you get certain items or stuff full stack that is 999 you're trying to think what would be possible for you so you don't get border to get to your own and stuff but is a thing you really want to do in some capacity yeah do it Dude, stop it. I'm trying to get you to kill this for me. There we go. back for the horn. Up, 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 up. Um, because the new update also added some stuff that are making stuff easier or harder depending on what you want to collect and some items also have new methods of gathering. Hmm. You know that it would probably take months in real life as well so you would have to plan for that but also to plan too much so it doesn't fail on that end because you need some planning but not too much hmm you will not be collecting all the smoked fish i didn't even know that was a thing <laughs> i didn't even know that was a thing Interact. This place, it feels ancient. There's a profound energy here, but I think it's inactive at the moment. Hmm. I don't have the key for this. I have a blue key. This yellow lock seems unbreakable. Yeah. A yellow key should open the lock. Yeah. We only have a blue one. It's a new thing? Okay. Well, I mean, I kind of assumed. <laughs> uh, let's see. What should... Yeah, it's up here. Never mind. God damn it. When oh, you missed the elevator. You kind of want to get almost all artisans good, uh, artisan goods, but there are some things you think would only get one. There's a different, different honey, but you don't think it would have what it takes to farm all the flowered honey. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, God damn it! 
I need to talk to you again, I suppose. Yeah. Have you managed to- Yes, I have. Ah, you have the Twisted Horns. Wonderful. <laughs> Why did you put it over your head when his hands were, like, right down there? <laughs> Thank you, Traveler. Just a moment now. All done. I've given the potion to the princess. You may see her, but tread lightly. She's still recovering. Okay. Uh, like spring onions, you can only get one one in spring, but you can keg and jar them, so wouldn't you like Oh damn. You can also put mushrooms into jars as well. Oh. You just found out what was wrong with your code. It was a misplaced parenthesis that fucked up the calculation of one thing and then it just propagated. That means that it's it was a lot easier to fix than you you imagined then, but it's just frustrating because you didn't you it took you a while to figure it out. Is that what it means? I'm glad you figured it out though. Actually, I don't I don't I don't I don't speak co coding language. So I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> There's a new dehydrator, but that might be too much even though it's like only fruit and edible mushrooms. Hmm. Is that the princess? <gasps> There's an opening here. But this tunic feels extremely warm and soft. <gasps> oh, I can use a tunic to be able to get to the 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 the, the cold area. Hi. Hello, you must be the traveler who has helped me. I'm still recovering, but I'm getting better thanks to you. We crossed paths before, haven't we? I recall a green traveler, much like you, who once freed our village from the grip of laziness. I know, that familiar scent. Delightful. Anyway, I'm sorry for asking more of you, but there's still an urgent issue with our water. Usually I would go and talk to Tengu, the shaman who lives at the top of the mountain. That is where our water comes from. But I can't go right now. Please, can you go there for me? Here, take this. The mountain is really cold, so you'll need to be prepared. <gasps> Ice tunic. This warm tunic provides protection to the weather, uh, to the weather, to the wear in extreme cold, extremely cold conditions. It's stylish. It was made long ago by the villagers to help us survive in the cold. Wear it, and it will keep you warm. Please find out what happened with Tengu, and please save our village. I beg of you. Well, that's okay. I can do that. <gasps> Well, that's- that's not a tunic, that's a helmet. I was like, it does look like a helmet, but then it's like... Maybe it's a tunic, but it just... The way it's shaped is kind of weird, but... It's literally a helmet. It's not- it's, it's not a tunic. You can't call it a tunic, game. Um... Easy to fix, but damn, took you a whole day and... Have a work time. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. but I'm glad that you figured it out in the end, though. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Damn you, parenthesis, devil's creation. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, tell ten full chests of full of wood? What it you will at minimum need? I, I don't know. <laughs> My brain is not meant for math. <laughs> wow, look at all the snow. We must be near Tengu's abode. Did you see the size of Tengu's mustache? The beauty here might be deceiving, so let's keep our eyes open. Stay warm and hope Tengu's as friendly as he is hairy. <laughs> let's go, Echo. Each chest holds like 36 spots, like the new big chest is like 70 slots. Hmm. Yeah, but don't don't ask me to do math, okay? It's not for me. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I'm just kidding. But you've seen uh, since the beginning of stream today, my brain is already struggling today. Does it not catch fire, this one? Stop it! What? I rolled! Is there no, like, pillar here? Uh, I heard something about math. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so what is the point of this one? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I know you love math. What does that do? Uh, you really like doing this Excel thing, and even if you never started this run, you would still think time's not wasted, and you I mean you did learn a couple of new Excel functions, and it's a different thing if you remember them. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that's where he was. Uh, oh, what do we have here? A tiny visitor in my grand domain. I'm Tengu, the esteemed shaman of this mountain. You see, the size, uh, size is everything in this world, and you are very small. What? You wish for me to raise the water level for the dodo village? Someone as small as you making such a big request? Curious indeed, but enough about stature. You see, I find myself in a dire situation. My assistant, Sinos, has betrayed me. He stole my Azerite gem while I was resting. This gem grants me control over water. Without it, my vast powers are useless. And my sneaky little assistant has hold up him, uh, has hold him up himself in that mountain cave. Defeated by my own magnificent size, should you, in your tiny but perhaps capable way, find Sinos or the Azerite, I might yet return the favor to you. Sinos is likely hiding in this cave, a place where he indulges in his strange hobby of blasting rocks apart. Use Sinos' bombs to blast through the rocks and carve your path to him. Good luck, tiny one. I see, I see. Um... I wasn't sure how much time I had. <gasps> it's a save point. I need that. <laughs> you were just talking about Stardew Valley? Also, the botanist perk doesn't affect spring onions, so it just would have been very every spring day check if there's any because unlike other forge that reset Saturday, the reset every day. Hmm. Everything is math anyways. So you hate say that I hate everything? 
big point there. Math can be found absolutely everywhere. Mm. Well, you guys can can uh, enjoy talking about math all you want together. We're having an ad break any second now. So I'm going to take a short break. Uh, and I'll be right back after the ad. Okay? Okay? I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit.
Hello? Hello? We are back! I see you guys have been bonding over math. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Because I can't bond with anyone over math. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys have each other for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to... Click on the game. <laughs> I don't think we can open this door yet. You feel a monstrous presence behind this door you want to enter? No, not yet. Because anytime that has uh, popped up, it has been a boss. And I want to finish everything else here before I do that. How much time do I have? Yeah. Oh damn, I have to do it again. Wait, sorry. Why are you saying sorry? I'm just joking. <laughs> You guys can talk about whatever you want, as long as it's TOS friendly, which unfortunately math is, but <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. Uh. Oh. All the loot, all the loot. Welcome back, Sodot. Welcome back. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It do be like that. Lana! <gasps> what? Forty months? That's insane! Hello!
Lana, thank you so much for the 40 months. That's insane. Holy crap. Happy 40 months. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a while, but uh, I hope everything is going... Going, 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 going good. Going well for you. What are you up to today? <laughs> as long as this, I didn't know there was so many quotes. Wait. Okay, I think we can go into the boss room now. It's been a bit of a chaos recently, but overall heading for the better. That's good. But also, you, you don't have to say sorry. But I am glad that you're doing better. That is good to hear. Um, Yeah, we're gonna do a boss fight now. Um, But how are you all? Miss you? Miss you too. I'm doing pretty, pretty okay. I think. It's like, it's not... I feel like it's kind of neutral. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. Not like amazing, but also not bad. <laughs> it's like something in between. And that's pretty okay. A save default? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um. I wonder what the this boss will be about. It's a Pokeball. Oh, I'm supposed to use bombs. Ah, goddammit, I'm trying to pick it up. Dude, stop it. What? You didn't give me any time. What is this? Oh, no. Okay. Ow, what? That, that startled me. <laughs> Oh, it's a- oh yeah, I mean, it, it is a person, but... <laughs> okay. This is pretty- pretty okay. As long as you figure out the, the gimmick, you know? I will catch up once once I'm done with this bows. Oh, damn. Dude! Okay, that was a stupid time to heal. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even didn't even let me get up.
one more after this one and then it should be done. Do the thing. Ow. I don't know why I keep saying ow and it doesn't even hit me. <laughs> it's a preemptive ow, as we have established before. There we go. There we go. Wecker managed to collect the twisted horns needed to concoct the medicine for the princess, saving her life. Wecker then met the shaman, Tengu, who revealed that his assistant, Sinos, had stolen the Azurite, a rare gem that allows him to control water. water. Despite Sinos' dangerous speed and power, Wecker endured the fight, showcasing his resilience and determination. Wicker used Sinus's own bombs against him, giving him a taste of his own medicine, and freeing him from the Greed Primordial Mask. Oh, it was the Greed. I see, I see. We did it! We did it! Is he also a bird man? Or is he a... No, he's a different... I was like, is that a nose or is it a beak? <laughs> but it is a nose. There's so many things you've forgotten over the years and feel you with the want to get back into it more, but the lack of need and the lack of time can truly mess things up. Do you allow that it exists? It gives another perspective of the world, and the more perspective, the better. Hmm. It it does look like it did look like a Pokeball, and it, it did. <laughs> the preemptive owls are to yeah. It, it happens to me all the time with games, or sometimes I roll too. If I just sometimes it's if something, uh, if I drop something on the floor or something, and if it just makes a sound, I'm like ow <laughs> because the, the, it seemed like it would hurt, you know, for the thing that fell, but not me. But you know, just it, it's just how it is. Hedgehog? It kind of looks like one. <laughs> it kind of looks like one. Ah, Traveler, I feel different now. The madness that took hold of me, it's fading away. This mask, Greed's mask, it changed me. I once loved the simple joy of shattering rocks and rolling around as a ball. But when I put on this mask, my desires twisted. I mean, he turned into a ball, so you know, um, a hedgehog makes sense. And it's a blue hedgehog, so it's like, it's... You trying to tell us something here, game? I no longer sought to just break rocks. I yearned to hoard and amass them. That's why I took the Azurit from Tengu. But I see now. The mask's influence was too strong. I lost myself to it. Please take this mask from me. You seem to have the strength to resist its corrupting power. Thank you for freeing me from this greedy grip, Traveler. As for the Azerite, I've kept it safe in my vault, along with other stones. You can retrieve it from there and return it to Tengu. I'll, I'll do that. Whoa, Wecko, that's another primordial mask. We've got three primordial masks now. I wonder what Galto, that evil frog, would think about our progress. We're starting to get close to having all seven masks. Just a few more to go, and we'll be able to confront whatever challenge these masks are preparing for us. Uh, preparing us for. Keep it up, Weko. We're on a roll. Not, not as much of a roll as this one was. But that is over now. <gasps> Obtain the primordial greed mask. 
A powerful and ancient mask. You can't help but think that it's surely worth a fortune. I mean, it could be. It could be. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad it's not just me. You also say sorry to everything you bump into. Um, I don't know if I do that. But it's more like... Yeah, I don't know. It's Zonic. Yeah, Zonic. Legal distinction, this is not Sonic. Mm. <laughs> its name is literally Sonic backwards and the boss name, you think, also said Hedgehog. Oh, it is C not yeah, dude. Right. I did I did not pay attention to that. His name is literally Sonic Backwards. I, did, I don't know. I did I did not pay attention at all, but that's that's I don't know if it's funny or just sad. <laughs> I don't know if it's just funny. Funny or just sad. <laughs> you thought you sp Thought, uh, you thought you spotted that, but you can't trust yourself nowadays. I feel that. Flow mob. Uh, f flow mob mask. Launches bombs that roll around. Stick to enemies and explode after a few seconds. Be careful with it. Okay. Flow mob mask. You can use the flow mob mask by pressing LT. These bombs will roll around, adhere to enemies, and detonate after a short period. So is it something I need to equip? Yeah. Yeah, I, d I did not notice the... The name. Well. Let's try that again, shall we? It's like the the game is is not very original. This game is just not very original in any way. <laughs> it's like it's it's fun. But it's it's like I want to be honest, but I'm like should I? Should I be honest? I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I said sorry because you got sunburst of feeling insecure and that you were doing wrong even though logically you know it didn't but because of kind of info dumping like that so you don't, you don't have to be sorry you don't have to be sorry Ryan <laughs> and as long as other people can can um can you know damn I wanted to read that I didn't click on anything um can con contribute more to the conversation than I can. I'm I'm just glad because you know I'm I'm kind of. Well, I don't want to self-deprecate, so, but I want to say I'm kind of dumb when it comes to these things. Um, it's not self-deprecation. It's just it's just facts because I am math is just not my thing at all. <laughs> You're going to make a joke that what's their name because it's Blue Hedgehog and thought like what it backwards and it was it yeah I mean it I just didn't think of it at all <laughs> I didn't think about it at all but I've said today that I'm I'm not really here today um uh, my brain is not here today. Be honest, honesty is the best policy. Mm. Well, what I was gonna say is, it's just it sounds so mean. <laughs> but it's like if I made this game, I, I feel like I would. I wouldn't be super proud of it. Is what I would say. It's like it's, it's fun. But it's just so unoriginal. It, it feels like they've just ripped off Zelda and, well, now Sonic. <laughs> the 
so that's that's what I wanted to say. Um, hey, blues. The game's no, it's not trash. It's not trash. I wouldn't go that far because it is fun. Um, but I'll be doing well though. Don't really do that or have spaces to do it, so it makes you very easily feel anxiety and insecure. Well, obviously I can't speak for anyone else, but you don't you don't have to be insecure around me. At least I hope I don't f make you feel that way. And that's fair. You have a brain? Well, sometimes. I share my brain cell with, with Chris sometimes. A.K.A. Krauses. Um, so today, apparently, he has it and I don't. So he he he's the one who has the brain cell today. Um, oh, I see you found my flow, flow, wob, flow wob bomb mask. Yeah, I can't even read either. It's one of my inventions. Makes bre breaking, bre breaking, <laughs> breaking rocks a breeze. <laughs> you know what? You can keep it. I don't need it now. After everything that's happened, I think it's time for me to take a long rest and reflect. Use it well and tell Tengu I'm sorry, would you? Yeah, sure, Sonic. <laughs> like, references and Easter eggs are cool and all, but sometimes there are limits. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I wouldn't feel good about this myself if I made this game, simply because... I would feel like it would... It wouldn't be all me. All my work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're trying, well, because you did that, it's not like that, but even when you know that, it still make you feel... Because it happens when with june as well oh i okay i see i see i am sorry you feel that way though but i also understand i feel like i relate to that sometimes on a rare occasion when i actually do uh you know interact with other people <laughs> um at least that's what it, you were getting you have some good qualities but it takes things from other games but don't improve on those ideas and make it fun and interesting for the game mm. didn't have to work today oh that's good well i mean i hope it's a, a, a good thing <laughs> i hope it's a good thing back so soon little one tell me do you have my azurite i do he has right At last, its power returns to me. Now, witness the true might of my restored abilities. The power of the water... See how the waters obey my will? Balance is restored to the mountain, and it's all thanks to you, little one. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, but how am I doing? I'm pre I'm doing pretty okay. I'm doing pretty okay. Not too shabby. Also, thank you, Lana. You think this game is heavily inspired uh, by Zelda in part as probably an attempt to to a love letter, but also the fact that there isn't a lot of traditional formula Zelda-inspired games. You can almost see the creator making its own Zelda game in their head, but for legal reasons, putting a coat of paint on top of it. Mm. You had, were debating a bit if you should tell anything about the Excel starter stuff, for example, because it's not like it's the most interesting thing for everybody, but ho you wanted to say... Oh, look at that! Water! Sometimes it's just nice to share. Sometimes it is just nice to share. I understand that. I mean, I know that's not what you said in those exact words, but... Uh, yeah. 
good and bad, bad because you need to pay rent. Hopefully you can do half payment this week and pay the rest of next. Good because you need to because you get to come and hang out with you for a bit. Oh, well I'm 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 glad to see you though, but I'm sorry that I'm sorry that that you you kind of need to work those extra hours and you you can't. Traveler, you did it. Thank you. The water's back and everyone's ha so happy. You take this as a token of my gratitude. Despite still feeling unwell, I can't wait to swim in our revitalized waters. Your bravery won't be forgotten. Well, thank you. <gasps> Money. Money. Mm. It's nice to share and also to hear about other people, even if it's not the, not like a thing, a thing is a thingy, a thing is thingy. Is that a reference to the, the thingy thing from yesterday? <laughs> you don't know words. Hey, I don't either most of the time. It is totally fine, Orion. You gonna be right by in it, back in a sec? <sighs> be safe. Dude, I'm yawning so much today. Hold on. I'm yawning so much today. Um, To be fair, I did that yesterday too. Um, That's where it came from probably. <laughs> yeah, the thingy thing. Um, so I wanted to go where there was one of those, uh, oh shit. Yeah, this might be a little bit, uh, scary to do. Aquatic Endurance Relic. This cute mask gives its wearer the ability to swim longer without getting tired. It also improves the wearer's stamina slightly. Yeah, okay, that's what we need to use. We need- that is actually something good to use. Uh... Do- do I need the extra health? I don't- mm. There we go. But yeah, the thing is, I'm 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 playing this game because I got it for free. Um oh damn, look at that. That's actually insane. It gives me a lot of extra time. I'm I, I'm playing this game for free. And for a free game, well for me, uh I I really do enjoy it. But I am glad that I didn't pay for it, is what I'm gonna say. But I am also like I want to finish it. Because it is fun. <laughs> it's just I wouldn't feel good about paying for it because of how how much of a ripoff it feels like, you know? Does that make sense? There's this app you can design starter farms. There is like all the farm types and also it's been updated to have the new 1.6 items. So you have been making plans also where and how to put things. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, is this how we get to the, is this like a, a shortcut back to Dark Forest, maybe? You don't know if it's uh, the app, but from a site? Hmm. That makes sense. Did the company give it to you for free? Well, not really. It's more like... It's kind of a... 
so there's a, a a website that is for content creators where you can apply for or like request a code for games if you promise to like make content out of it um so that's kind of so it's it's kind of the creators that give it to you but at the same time well i mean it depends sometimes they do but here i just think they have given out uh keys to the website that does this and then they kind of pick uh who they want to give it to hello again waco how goes your journey it's nice to have some warm company in such a cold place. The tunic really suits you, you know? Ah, and I owe you an extra charge for your potion, don't I? Yes, you do. There you go. Try not to freeze your toes out there. Or out here. I will do my best. Yeah, so it's a, it's a website called Lurk It. Lurk It. And, uh... Yeah, it's pretty cool if you if you stream and you can um, you can uh, get games for free if you make content out of it. I've done it a few times before, but with a different website called uh, Keymailer. So I use two different websites for it. Um, leave the area, sure. Um, so I've done it with a few other games before. Red Graveyard, damn. Oh, it seems dark. You applied for this game? Yeah. Because it seemed it seemed it seemed cute. Um I guess the cemetery is giving me the creeps. Not saying something for a robot. Let's focus. Somewhere here there's a way to go deeper and reach the underdweller village. Let's hope it's not fix, uh, fix, by the way. Six feet under. <laughs> uh, let's go, Weko. Mm. This is from the Steam page. Action adventure game inspired by classic 3D platformers and RPGs like Zelda, Souls-like, and Spyro. Mm. Well, it doesn't... It's not very Souls-like, as we discussed at the beginning of stream. <laughs> um, you're back. Welcome back, Soldat. Did anything exciting? Uh, no, not really. Spire is actually mentioned, so you feel validated. Mm. I didn't think of Spyro, but it, it being inspired by Spyro makes sense. So it was this game that prompted the discussion? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um. But yeah, what other games have I gotten through Keymailer? It was the one with... um. Uh, Vern, the the game called Vern, about Jules Vern, um, and it was Ghost Pia, which is probably the best one that I've tried out of the ones that I've gotten a free Steam key of. Um, that was a a visual novel, like an anime type of. Uh, visual novel, and I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Um, and there's been some other ones as well, but you know, there's a there's a Metroidvania that came out not too long ago called called Bo, uh, the Path of the the Teal Lotus or something. I also applied for a key for that, but they ran out of keys, so um, I didn't get that one. <laughs> Maybe the Souls-like part of this game is the fall damage. <laughs> I mean, uh, most games do have fall damage, though. The Delivery Witchy game? Um, no, that was just a demo. That was just a demo. I haven't played the full game. It actually comes out next month, I think. Like, the full game. <laughs> uh, maybe the Souls like is more like inspiration then, but if it's in the tags... Yeah, I don't know. I think the tags is... When it comes to Steam, I think tags are picked by... 
by users, not the, the creators or anything. I think Souls Likes is just still trending, so everyone's trying to find a justification, justification to use it. Yeah, that's basically what the conclusion we we came to, that it's just... People just use Souls Like, uh, like slap it on a lot of games, even if it doesn't apply, because it's kind of popular in a way. It's similar to Metroidvania too, like they do that with Metroidvanias as well. Even if the game isn't really, doesn't have a lot of Metroidvania aspects to it. Ghost Pia was funny as fuck, too many ghosts, not enough holes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you remember that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a good game. Yeah, that was also a game that I got for free and I'm I'm actually kind of proud of the the YouTube thumbnails for that because it's like my name is Pia, so it was like that was the main reason I wanted to play it because it's like Ghost Pia, like that is that is my name. So I the thumbnail I I used like the the main person is there, but I just switched out their face with mine, <laughs> and I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it. You're talking about Mika and the Witch's Mountain? Yes. Yes, that's the one. I played the demo about a year and a half ago, I think. And it's been postponed for so long, but it comes out next month. You think they're user moderated? Yeah, I think so too. It's been talked about before and there was even a mod for it, but Hollow Knight with fall damages? Mmm. Yeah, I, um, I could do without. <laughs> To be fair, on Steam, you think the ties are placed by the user? Yeah, yeah. That thumbnail, it was it was pretty good though. I won't lie. <laughs> I do know. I think there is some other game as well that I have gotten through Key Mailer, but I don't quite remember which one. The graveyard. The graveyard is a place where the most valiant warriors rest in peace. However, some say it is possible to encounter tormented souls lurking in the darkness. <gasps> what is this? It's a little ghost. Look at those, flying with ears or wings. Nature's got a weird sense of style. I mean, if it works. The door seems linked to a secret system. Mm. Same, you've been waiting for the game, that game for so long. Now was expe uh, expected, by the way. Excited when the demo finally came out, but didn't know it was coming out next month. It was supposed, yeah, it was supposed to come out sometime last year, I think. And then it just got postponed for a really long time, and then. was supposed to be around was it around Halloween or something last year there's an interesting video about Elden Ring fall damages you think also Dark Souls from this one YouTube video that does like dissection videos of the game mechanics and stuff they're super cool wait was it you who talked about how many meters it was before you took fall damage, or was it someone else? Like, if it was 20 meters, you died or something? I think it was you. Um, it was supposed to come out last year by fall. Yeah, by Halloween, more or less. Mm. Yeah, I was also really excited about it. I actually got the demo. No, when you mentioned it, I actually did get the demo um, from the um, the dev themselves. It wasn't from Steam because it, I played it before it came on Steam. The demo. Yeah. So you're not wrong, Orion. <laughs> I just kind of forgot because it wasn't too long before the demo came out on Steam for the first time. Yeah. 
In Elden Ring, it's 16 to 20. You take damage, and 20 is the kill. Mm. That's why it might seem inconsistent, because it's kind of a big fall before damage, and then only 4 meter window. Hmm. Well, I wasn't prepared for that, whatever that was. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna use bombs. <laughs> You die now. Okay. Wait, you explode when you die? Well, that would have been nice to know. <gasps> Can I switch my sword? Is that for me? How much health do I have to give up to get this sword? <laughs> because it's like, you know, it's Zelda and everything. The wep this weapon gives off a chilling aura. Like, it's calling out for something or someone. Hmm. Never mind then. But something like that, you're pretty sure. Mm. I think in Dark Souls it was like also 20 meters the max. Mm. Are bombs unlimited? Yeah, I think so. Is that a Zelda reference? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. You like the little floating ghosties? They are kind of cute. They are kind of cute. Let's move this one. Just pass D15 strength difficult checks. D difficulty checks? Mm. It's the master sword. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like 10 arcana check. Uh, I like how we're just roasting the game now, but it's like it's I don't know I feel like am I allowed to do that when I'm when I receive the game for free like shouldn't I be honest but at the same time as like am I being too honest <laughs> uh, Visitor in the silent sanctuary I'm a sparrow the keeper of mysteries. What do you seek in my secluded haven? Listen to his story sure uh, this graveyard whispers ancient tales. Long ago, it was a bridge to the spirit realm. But over time, the passage was sealed, guarded by mystical stone eyes. Decipher their secret, and you might rekindle the old bond between the worlds. A timeless gramophone. Activate. Nothing happened. Okay. You don't have the right item in your inventory. Okay, so we need to find a, a record. Oh yeah, we need we need to get the the vinyl from from the dude with the guitar. In the other village, I see. I understand. It's all in good fun. <laughs> I think you should be honest, and if you don't, uh, and if you did strike like a deal, yeah. I mean, I I I didn't sign any contracts or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Feel you being fair, and besides, does it stipulate anywhere in the? No, 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 no. It doesn't. I just, I just feel like. I don't know. Sometimes I'm being a bit too honest in a lot of situations, not just now, but you know. I think it's okay, and I'll like uh, go into the website, to, uh, website to rate it. True. True. In Steam, I mean, I could do that as well, but it would like. Was that close enough? Yeah. 
Why are you running? Dude, why why won't he lock on? There we go. Ow. You were supposed to stick to the enemy. Wait, I took damage from that too. I mean, that makes sense, honestly, but... We got it. We got it. Personally, if you made something, maybe you would like to know stuff. If people say it's like too similar to something, like a bad way or something, you don't know if you could take that into consideration going forward. I mean, something tells me that they probably already know, but they just don't care because it's like, it's a little bit too much. So, are these names of, like, backers or something? Because I don't know- I don't know if it was supposed to be... A Kickstarter game? I don't think so. But I don't- I don't know. Maybe it was? Maybe it wasn't? But these definitely look like, uh, backers. <laughs> game is a Souls-like also game, doesn't have a parry mechanic. And they also have a similar symbol on those enemies than one enemies in Zelda, like the Yiga. You mean the Yiga clan? Yeah, kind of, maybe? Rest in peace, backers, yeah. Interpret that as you wish. No, just Oh, that's what the eyes were for. I see, I see. Or, no, the, the... Not the eyes, but the... The glyphs on the ground. That bomb didn't do any damage. Yeah, it didn't do much damage, at least. Um... There we go. Also, that sound is so similar to, to Zelda as well. It's like, it's a little bit embarrassing at this point. <laughs> you don't mean like in a bad, uh, it's a bad thing, only Zelda can use, uh, or, on, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, it does very little damage. Ow. And yeah, it doesn't have- you can't roll away from a lot of attacks either, so... This is more like a Zelda-like than a Souls-like, exactly. Wait, no, 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 I didn't mean to... ...do that. But honestly, I don't mind the sound being like that. It tickle your brain. Yeah. Push. But yeah, I mean, I it's. 
It's fun though. I do I do like playing it. It's just it didn't have to be so similar. And yeah, you kinda the hood here, you kinda look like the the what's his name again? In you know the one you always have to kill in, in Tears of the Kingdom? Underground? The one from the Yiga clan? The one who is like always a boss. I forgot his name. Uh, the comic support guy? Hmm. I forgot his name. Yeah, I, it's been a while since I played it. I, I still never finished it. I, I, I never finished that game, and I never finished Breath of the Wild. The games were too big. Um... I, I love open world, but the problem was that it was too empty and too big for what was actually in the game. Yeah. And for someone who is a completionist and wants to do everything and be very thorough, it was just too much. Both of them. So it's fun for a while, but it's just too... it has too much in it. So I never bother finishing it because I felt like I needed to do everything and I just couldn't. And Jacob, <laughs> I don't think he had a very common name, like, like the names we have. Wait, where is the opening that I didn't go through? Because there was one I just walked past and didn't go through. <laughs> is, is that a is that a common um, Finnish name? Okay, it's not this one. So not Finnish ones either. I'm afraid not. Oh, I mean I can't say that for sure because I don't know all Finnish names. So I'm not gonna say that for sure, Ryan. Okay, this is the one with the sword. I'm gonna go this way. God damn it. Can you just walk? Still need to finish Tears of the Kingdom, but for you it was so similar to Breath of the Wild that you kinda just forgot. Plus it didn't address in a genuine way the criticism criticism people had of Breath of the Wild and simply did some things worse. Yeah. That was also uh, an issue because for me, it's like I love exploring, but seeing as it was just the same as as Breath of the Wild, but in a different time or like it was just slightly more worn down everything. Like, it didn't look different enough. So it felt like a waste to go and explore everything. So he does take damage from my shield. <laughs> and also, the problem was the fact that they did they disregard everything about the lore. So things that happened in Breath of the Wild apparently didn't align with what happened. No, I mean what happened in Tears of the Kingdom didn't fully align with uh Breath of the Wild, so it was like 
they just didn't give a shit about the lore anymore. And then there was too much inconsistency. Which... They didn't even care about it. So, then it's like, I don't really have any respect for when they don't even bother to try. Because they know that, well, it's a Nintendo game and it's a beloved franchise. So, like, why do they have to try? Because people will eat it up anyway. Danger, old frozen cave. Okay, we're having an ad break. Um, hold on. I'm gonna catch up. That reminds you of this meme you saw, but you don't know if you would like that. Wait. What do you mean? You don't know if I would like that. But it's finished meme anyways, but like it's about Bulge K3 characters. But I want to see it then. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because you think you kind of understand what you mean, but you think it would be cool to see how things are different. Hmm. Yeah, it, it really does suck. Three hours, three minutes, and three seconds. <laughs> also, the fact that the building mechanic let you cheat everything, like the fire dungeon can be skipped with a bike, and Nintendo was like, yeah, we'll give you all the freedom. I mean, it was cool for a while. But then it's like, I ended up... So I saw all the TikToks when, when Tears of the Kingdom came out. Um, with how it was either you were the type of person who tried to do like full-on engineering things and do super complicated and, and uh, creative structures, or you were just like super... Uh, primitive in the way that you did things um <laughs> and that was kind of funny because it seemed very accurate from what i saw i was definitely the more primitive type i did very uh, like simple things but as long as it worked you got the cheap three 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 mm. that mindset always bothers you same it happens so often with everything. Music, games, as long as it's popular enough, they know that people will buy it, so they don't, they don't even bother to put it put in the effort to make it as polished as it could or should be. Um, that's not really cheating because they made that to be possible. True. It is true. <gasps> Wait, so Rufian? Not a second child. <laughs> but that's just an wait, that's just an 18 month streak. That that's technically not a second well, we already had the second child. Do you mean a third child now? It's it's a bit premature, but it's it's it would be a third one. <laughs> but happy 25 months, Sarah. Happy 25 months. I don't even know where to put the first one. <laughs> but how you doing? How will stream? Are you guys done already? Are you guys done? I hope you guys had fun. I, I had to lurk, so I couldn't I couldn't hang out, but I was I was listening to you guys. Um, it's cool that way because you can do so many different things. Also, Sarah, you came in just in time for the, the, the Zelda rant, which you love that. <laughs> you love that. So you, you came in at a perfect time. I'm so mad about the lore breaking uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. You really, really hate it, especially because the Zelda timeline was already good enough and open, vague enough that there was no need to break canon. Mm. Yeah. But it is a different experience for people with all that creativity stuff versus like more puzzles like in the old-fashioned way. Mm. 
when games or DLCs are broken and it gets ages to get fixed or not fixed at all. Hmm. You look. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is much, dude. I I feel the same way, Sarah. I have people who have been here from the start of stream today can can confirm that that I have my brain has not been braining today, and I think I think it's because Chris took a hold of the 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 brain cell today. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blame it on him. <laughs> uh, but back from the ads. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, two months away from an average Norwegian normal family, get, gotta get a house in a Volvox. <laughs> I mean, I did say that it, it is a little bit premature, and it could be fine, but... Again, maybe we should get, give it to, to Lauren, because she's just gonna give it to their ducks. I say their ducks, but it's just... It's kinda... it, it kinda is. You're getting very snoozy, so you'll hop off now. Hope you guys have fun. Thank you so much for being here, Lana. I appreciate you a lot. I hope you're doing doing well for the rest of the week as well. And uh yeah, hope you have a good sleeps. You have good sleeps. They made it so it could be done, but that's the point. A game with no limitations will end up not being as good, especially in today's world where games uh, are figured out collectively instead of individually. Mm. True, because... But at the same time, you can see how creative one can be when there are no limits. So it's like, I don't really think that it, that is necessarily a bad thing. But it's more so because... Because the, the crafting part isn't supposed to be about, like, it's not a puzzle, so it's not, like, one solution. But I also like when things doesn't have, like, it, when things don't have one solution. You can solve it in different ways, but... If people can just do one thing, craft one thing that they can use throughout the game, Then that didn't that doesn't that that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, but I mean that's their choice though. <laughs> Love the Zelda or the rant, um, the rant. We're ranting about Zelda here, yeah. <laughs> I think you don't think it like that way. Sometimes it's super nice when people come together to figure out stuff, but you do understand also the if you're wanting to do to have only by yourself as well be able to. Hmm. I mean, that's usually why I prefer to stay away from, from spoilers of games that I play as well, because... Or not necessarily spoilers, but I also... Like, I prefer to not look up guides, because I want to see if I can do it in my own way. Maybe it is a Zelda rant, but at least from you, it comes from it being like your favorite thing ever. Well, you, you, I was gonna say, I don't know if you're in the minority here, but, um, <laughs> not the vast majority in the stream, at least. I don't think. <laughs> um,. But to be fair, though, your your opinion there is more popular than than mine or Sarah's because I like I enjoyed it, but it was it it it, it was kind of lacking for me. You barely been able to sleep the last few days because stomach issues. Someone put lactose in chips. I heard that. I heard you said that. But yeah, that that really, I I don't understand that either. They put so many things in different types of foods that doesn't it doesn't need to be there, and it happens all the time. Stop putting lactose in chips. I can well. 
honestly, when it comes to chips or... I don't know if I've had that issue, though. But I've also... I tend to pick the ones with uh, as few ingredients as possible. So what I usually pick is the ones... Are the ones that have, like, three ingredients in total. Which is, like, potatoes, uh, peanut oil, and, and sea salt. And that is literally it. Um... So I would highly recommend sticking to something like that. I know that some people f find that boring. I kind of like the boring flavors when it comes to chips, but... <laughs> but it, it, it is it is safe, at least. For, well, unless you are um, allergic to peanuts, I guess. It's not natural for adults to drink milk to begin with. Why are we putting it in everything? I don't understand. I was trying to pound salt for again. I d yeah, I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. Milk should not be in as many products as it is. You understood that you don't need to be to be like engineer or super creative to be able to do stuff in Tears of the Kingdom. Mm. So it's not like taking away from those people who don't want to or can't uh, do that. Stop putting things in food. Yeah, stop putting food in food. No, just kidding. <laughs> really tired of reading the tiny print on the back of every single food item, so sometimes you skip it and just assume it's safe, which you thought it would be nice since it was a chips. Since it was a chips, by the way. You know, some are because the flavor things have, like, if it's something that have lactose and not the chips itself, not very knowledgeable on the subject. Yeah, but then it would be kind of implied like let's say it's sour cream and onion sour cream naturally has like is is a is a dairy product so it would have lactose so like that makes perfect sense but if it's something very basic that doesn't have any ingredients that should have milk in it i don't really understand stop the milk <laughs> um because milk is... No, milk is disgusting. Milk is disgusting. To be fair, ask can be quite interesting. <laughs> it's to ask no to milk. <laughs> um, isn't that also like thing that there is tons of milk? So was it only like USA thing? Wait, I'm I'm not sure what you're asking, Orion. Mmm... Kaffo milk, yeah. Let's see. Orion's Norwegian is getting good. <laughs> oh, okay, we need to switch our... Um... There we go. A whisper of freedom stirs in my soul. Has the silence finally been broken? Sweetie. Yes, it has. To one lesson in Duolingo. Mm. Mm. Okay, we need to switch back. Yes. <laughs> this is the first group ha uh, that hate milk and products, unless you're lactose intolerant. Yeah, uh, and... Well, Sarah is vegan, and Orion might be lactose intolerant. So it, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> and I'll probably start to learn it yet, so you don't know. You're thinking if you should freshen up your Swedish, or if that would mix it too much. I mean, a lot of the words will will be very recognizable for either, though, so yeah. most of the time it will be it will be okay, I think. Mm, that you met, you mean? Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, are you lactose intolerant as well, Sarah? I didn't know that. Well, I mean, you've been vegan for as long as I've known you, though, so. I, did, I didn't know about that. I just assumed that you uh, started feeling uh, bad because of it, because you haven't had it in a long time and... I know it's a common thing if you don't eat meat or uh, dairy products and then if you suddenly eat it, you start feeling unwell. Even if you don't have like any any intolerance. Furnace mask relic. This relic mask makes all the fire around it burn hotter. Wait. Don't want to dox you, but it is, is it easier for you to learn Swedish? I feel like a lot of people from your country learn Swedish. Mm. Orion learned Swedish. Um, in school. Forgot about vegan. Mm. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Did I? I forgot to bring with me this one. Uh, if you're vegan for a while, you usually become lactose intolerant after a while. Mm. But I thought that was how it was with uh, meat as well. But it would it was just because of an adjustment period or something. Uh, I'm missing one, but I don't know where the last one is supposed to be. Yeah. Hmm. What is the last one? Started in like you think it was was fifth grade, but most started I think seventh. Wait, how come you started earlier? Did you start like at home? I haven't tried with meat and hopefully never will unless they sneak meat into your bee or something. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully that will not happen. Oh, damn, you're back. You don't have a lot of time to do stuff, uh, like, after, like... The cooldown between each action you can take is very long. daily but uh, a few years ago you just reduced drinking it and they then you didn't drink it at all uh, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go for the last one There was a- oh, okay, okay, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. New saber with chunks of chicken? Oh no, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> um, I think English starts by third. By everyone's is probably fit. I think I started in fourth grade. 
I think that's how early we started, but it could have changed now. I don't know how it is in school these days, but... Oh, there we go. Someone's gonna make a craft beer with pinchots in it, aren't they? Probably. Oh no, that's... That sounds really gross. Also, can you do a shout out for Sarah or Ryan? Would you would you be so kind to do that? Um one to six the sixth is like the first school then seven to nine and then like you have a couple of options. So a sop <laughs> sop Seraphian. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ryan. Go follow Sarah if you haven't already. He's been playing uh, Dark Souls 2 with Chris and Rod today. And the other times he has been... Well, lately he's been uh, streaming... He's practicing Dark Souls 3 Hitless. And he got a new PB the other day. Of 9. Um, what's up with you? Yeah, what's up? <sighs> Same single digits getting closer. Yeah. Getting gooder and gooder, Sarah. Getting gooder and gooder. That's spot with close enough. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Sarah, not Shira. <laughs> Damn, there are a lot of uh, bots today, it seems. <laughs> You okay, Ryan? <laughs> uh. No, there wasn't anything here. It was just the the golem. Now you finally feel like you can just do full runs every stream, and that's more fun than just practicing the same boss area over and over. That is understandable. That is understandable. You lied so hard, so I didn't mean to send that many me messages. <laughs> uh, you're good, you're good. Uh, I need to find the last room. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Because I feel like I've been to every place. Time out or fine? No, don't time out yourself. It's not allowed. Yeah, I don't know. I'm also very unfocused today, I can tell. Wait, what? Sacred stones engraved on these large rocks, you'll find the names of the most valiant warriors who gave up their lives to fight the forces of evil that helped the world to be built. Or they just backed the, the, the project. And it caused them to die. It's Sarah, not Shira. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> it's true, though. Unless you are, you 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 are, are considering a name change, Sarah. I don't know. It could be. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. There's no new rooms. I'm just going in circles now. Wait, I never found this one. Okay. Yeah. 
Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Can I make that a quote? Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> I like that that is the one you ask me per permission to, to quote. <laughs> <laughs> and cheer. <laughs> That's funny though. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm missing the eye for this one. But I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. You gonna be lurking for a bit? Do what you need to do. But also, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. I don't know why I'm so... <sighs> Higher today. I don't know why. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Are there any graves that need to be interacted with or something? Quote nap, yeah. I do I do need a nap. <laughs> um Okay. He didn't have anything more to say. Maybe I just need to come back. Maybe I just need to come back. That's fine because I it could just mean that I need the the um, the vinyl and that's how I get the last one. You thought of Seraphimon Seraphimon for your D Digimon fans? Mhm. Mm I do not remember any of the names of any Digimons, but I did watch it though as a kid. I actually really enjoyed it. Like, when it came to watching that versus Pokemon, I actually found Digimon more entertaining. It was more exciting. Let's try to go to the... I was gonna say the... Yeah, well, these places. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything here except this room, but I can't do anything there. Uh, the cooldowns... Pop time has truly evolved. <laughs> I think it also has, like, a timer. Oh, no! Nap time? Wait, it does- it has naps? Wait, that's so cool. It- it does the- the- the nappy nap? Hold on. Or is it just sleeping? That's funny, because I'm actually following two of those channels. Out of those, uh, sleepy emotes. 
I think Tr Ruby True is probably the channel that I have the most channel points in. It's because it's an ASMR streamer, though, so. And she used to stream non-stop. Like, she, even when she wasn't there, she had reruns and stuff, so I always had it open. <laughs> so I think I have, like, 800-something uh, K points in, in, in her stream. Pizza now nap emotes. Mm. <laughs> I like that though. You watch some show like cards they battled with. Uh, you don't remember anything else. You, you mean Yu-Gi-Oh or something? That's a lot. You only have 480. Well, that's that's a lot, but you also used a lot, haven't you? You couldn't say. Mm. Okay, maybe we just need to go back. Yeah, because we have been here. Yeah, let's just go back because now that we've done this and we have a new skill now that i think about it this is probably i i wouldn't say that it is but if i were to say anything like this they call this a souls like but it actually it has some more metroidvania aspect to it than than souls games um I would not go as far as saying that it is a metroidvania though. You're not forgotten the full Norwegian stream? Mm, cannot tell because those names don't tell you anything. Hmm. I think there was like a yellow, red, and blue group. You don't know. They use like a machine on their hand, put the card or something. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't really played any of, uh, no, played, I watched any of those type of shows anyway, so I couldn't say. Yeah, we can open up here as well. <gasps> really? That's all? Well, actually, that's that's quite a lot, but it's just... I want stuff, not money. I don't even have enough to spend them on. These are all the ones that I've collected. I'm missing two. No, three. I can open this now. I haven't been here since I got the key. Oh, this is a whole new area. Damn. Use that show to make rules. You had like Pokemon cards, so you played with your sibling and you made rules based on that other show thing and you don't know, you think it worked. For those of you who didn't watch lots of Pokemon, do you think it was sometimes from TV? Mm. Back from Lurk for a bit. <laughs> Wait. Oh, damn. Uh, 
Um, it would be the one that you think of that has red, yellow, and blue groups on the machines. Mm. Can't stay long, really, really need to get some sleep, so fingers crossed that happens. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your stream. Talk soon. Thank you so much for being here, Sarah, and I hope you sleep well. I hope tomorrow will be a good day for you. And yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk again soon. And go, go give Sarah a follow. He's he's a good he's a good bean. Dude, I'm stuck. Ah, what? another one we're just missing one and i already have i've already seen the last one but i couldn't get to it but maybe we can now maybe but yeah how are you doing elmac Go, go give Elmac a follow too, if you haven't. If you like... If you like, uh, retro games. Especially Mega Man. <laughs> I know, I know, we're just joking. We're just joking with you, but it, you know, you do like your Mega Man games, you know? Do I have all of the golems now? Or maybe I'm missing one. Yeah. It could be, it could be. Yeah. Hmm. There's a hidden chest behind here. Bam. Yeah. All the money. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. But yeah, one thing that I, I would say that the, the thing that I've liked the most probably in this game is uh, the music. I really like the music. It's pretty nice and chill. Missing two. <laughs> Look how they're dancing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just not gonna bother with them because they're just annoying. And now I can get to a place here that I couldn't before. Two places, actually, not just one. Wait, so just because you leave an area, you actually regain all your health? That's kind of strange. I mean, it doesn't replenish your potions, but... 
I'm guessing that we're getting a skill that lets us... Um, walk across the poison water. Yeah, we should be able to... Yeah, we have the mask now. I still don't understand why they called the mask here a tunic. It's like, it's not a tunic, it's a mask. Wait, I've already been here. Wait, no, I haven't. I just found a different one in, in one of the... Well, I found him in a different room like this. But I hadn't been here before. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Wait, I wonder if that means that I can use um, the bombs on these. I don't know why I would want to, but I want to see if I can. No. And no. No skinny dipping here. It's for your own good, guys. Mm. But yeah, I wonder if... Was this an area we could go to again? Yeah. Yeah. That we have more stuff to do, I mean? Not sure. You were playing Sly Cooper today as well, and there was this... Usually using the paraglider thing is fun, but there was this mission that was a bit... Hmm. Wait, I actually think this is the area where I could get the last, uh, no, not the last, but one of the... The, the silly dancey dudes. The silly dancey dudes. Yeah, it's up there. Wait, no, did I get that one? I did. I think. Hmm. Well, let's go and see, just in case. Well, this was not the one. Not the place. You got very frustrated while playing one other mission as well. It's such a horrible mission part. Like, the controls are so off. Hmm. Yeah, don't don't think about it, Orion. If if it bothers you. Hmm. Yeah, we already got this one. There's a moth in here. Uh, 
Um, you, keep the, you skip the first one, but you... We'll play the third one after this is soon done. Hmm. No, I, I have done everything here, I think. I'm going to the thing about Pokemon and Digimon, you tend to like both. Digimon is more story heavy and Pokemon is just like a fun slice of life comedy and doesn't take its story too seriously. Should you bump it, to, bump it down one point because Brock's in it? Surprisingly not. That was not, that was, that was not part of my uh, thought process at all, actually. Um, but you do have a point. You do have a point. Um, no, I, I... When you say... When you put it like that, it actually makes perfect sense. Because I tend to not like Slice of Life either. Uh, it's not my thing. I try to. Hold on, let me... Wait, I, I could go here the entire time. I just assumed that I couldn't. Okay. Dude, I've tried to block. You wouldn't let me. Dude, how am I supposed to block? And you also don't let me get up in time. I'm so confused. How is this supposed to work? I guess this is the only time where the the rolling is actually hel more helpful. What? What is that range? This is the first time the rolling has actually worked. Take down the scavenger chef. Uh, that was a chef? <laughs> Small damage relic. Gives the wearer a slight boost to strength. And makes Weko's attacks a bit stronger. Dude, that's actually really helpful, I think. But that, that was... Um I guess that's the closest we've gotten to uh, this being a souls like. <laughs> uh, I guess. Um, Digimon also sounds familiar, but you're not sure if you saw that as well. Mm, but you would have bumped down Digimon after finding out that thing about Tynus is- uh, wait. Yeah. I- I don't know what that is. But then again, I haven't watched it since I was probably a pre-teen, so it's like, it doesn't really have a- It's not really that special to me, I guess. Um, And I think I only watched like the first- 
I, I only washed until like the... F you know, with the first kids that were there, but then they got new main characters or something. And I think that's when I stopped watching. Um, but also, like, playing games now that you played when you were young, you also notice things that you didn't know or notice before, and it's... You're thinking maybe some things are... Like, stereotyping or something? I mean, yeah, that that's pretty common for especially the 90s. Mm. I do- I have bagged another Primordial Mask. Guidance? You can gather masks, but seem a bit lost without my guidance. Uh, but you got the mask, so you got the mask of greed. Beat Sinos or or we yeah we beat we beat Sonic. <laughs> that assistant of Tengu, of course I know him. Tengu had the nerve to call me a little frog, but I'm a big toad. I hate him. Anyway, you're really making progress on your quest to collect all the primordial masks. Your next stop is, regrettably, the Underground. It's a place I'd rather avoid for personal reasons. It's home to mummified creatures and glistening crystals, so or so the legends tell. The only path there is through the graveyard, adjacent to the Dodo Village. I never ventured there, but for you, it might just be worth it. Maybe you'll figure out why she chose to live there instead of staying here by my side. Yeah. But I digress. Good luck, mass gatherer. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a lot of money now, so I can actually boost my health and everything here. Um... Are those his teeth? I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Mm. Yeah, we can at least have 300. And then we can boost our stamina a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can we go here now? Have we been here before? Oh yeah, it's this place. Never mind. Did I talk to you last time I was here? Time weaves portal stitch. Yeah, I did. Very insightful. Uh, you're currently petting a cat. It's the best day ever. <gasps> I love that for you. I think uh, you would be now comfortable letting Dries to order a coffee from a Norwegian coffee shop. You don't know. I'm not talking about the social interaction part. <laughs> Good, all right. Good. Let's see. You don't even drink coffee? Then why would you order coffee? The Voss shifts its gaze to you. I heard good news. Brother told you to deliver the pipe. It was right to trust you. Yeah. But I need something else. I need something else. Let's go back here. Um, welcome back, Gobi. Welcome back. Pop time also has cats. Yes, yes, it does. Dude, I I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to use the glider. <laughs> I don't know why I used the glider. <sighs> uh. 
they ask payment and you would not know what to say because it's all Duolingo has taught you. <laughs> yeah. Kind of want to just get book from library at this point. Mm. She's a straight cat uh, that love being pet and passes by every time you come out so she can pet, uh, get pets. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I know we, we can go. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna help, though. Oh yeah, we have the boomerang. So now we can open the door here. Hold on. Let me just do something real quick. Um... Uh, you learn for for here, but then the cashier asks, is this to go? And you're just... <laughs> go. Nice. And we gave him the... the uh... No, we... we... <gasps> he has a mask! I will get the mask if I give him the, 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 the painting. You, what do you want? I see you noticed the empty spot on the wall. That painting was the last memory I had of the great Narcissio. Oshi Village was so much better under his rule. But desperate times call for desperate measures. I had to sell it just to buy something other than that blasted ho cheese to eat. I hate ho cheese and eggs too. Huh? They say they're the uh, they say you're the village hero. Bring me the back the painting of my beloved Narcissio. The Rebel Tunic, that's what it's called. In the past, wearing that would let you walk among the rebels as one of their own. But now everyone is looking at that tunic with fear. Why do they call tunics, like masks, tunics? I don't understand. It's clear something used to hang here. Perhaps a framed picture to hang the paint painting. Ah, my beloved painting of Narcissio. You brought it back to me. Don't worry. I won't ask how you got it. I don't care. This village, it's not the same without him. Everyone is munching on that hideous ho cheese day in and day out. I just can't stand it. A garment donned by the Hoshi rebels. Community, community. Commonly worn by those who oppose the established order. It looks deeply unsettling. We're the same, you and I, Traveler. Back in the day, wearing this tunic would have marked you as one of us, a rebel. It would have been your key to our camps and hideouts. But now it's just a relic of the past, a time when the village was truly alive. You can have it. I got no more hope or no use for it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Pickley! How you doing? Yeah. It is nice to see you. I also saw that you got you you got a job finally. That you've been you've been you've been hoping for. And congrats, congrats. I'm very happy for you. Oh, I, for once I actually didn't have enough money. <laughs> That's wild. Um. You're great. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it, Pickley. Um. You sure did? You're so excited? That is good to hear. That is good to hear. Yeah. Wait, do you mind? Like, you also don't- you, you don't have to say, but- <gasps> Pickley! Resubbing- Six months in advance? Are you kidding me? Dude, that is wild. What are you doing? <laughs> Holy crap! Six months in advance? Thank you so much! You- that is too kind of you, thank you! And happy 11 months! Happy 11 months. 
Thank you so much, Pickley. And yeah, I'm so happy for you. What I was gonna ask, though... <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, what... what is it a similar job to what you used to have? Or is it... is it... um... something else? But also, if you... if you don't feel comfortable saying, then... that is also totally fair, but... I'm just a nosy bean, you know? I'm just nosy. Happy to do it, have family. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it though. I do appreciate you, do, you, you doing that. Yeah, we just, we also been just, um, been playing extra cozy games these past couple of days. <laughs> So the vibe is definitely, definitely, uh, it, it's a different vibe lately because I've just been doing all the cozy things. Similar job, but your title is upgraded to senior. <gasps> oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah, because you, you, I think you mentioned that your job was like, you had a position that was... not at the same level as you had experience for was that is that correct yeah. four hours four minutes and four seconds <laughs> uh, you're on it today ryan better pay interesting work you're pumped that is good to hear i'm glad i'm glad to hear it um Love cozy, how's this one treating you? So, the thing is... It is a nice game and all. Yeah. And it is fun. But... It feels a little bit too much of a rip-off of, of, um, of Zelda games. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> so it's like... I do enjoy it. But I'm also like, I'm I'm thinking of the point of view from from like the um, the creators of the game, and then I'm thinking, yeah. is this really what you wanted to put your energy into? I'm, and I feel so bad for saying that, but that's yeah. But it is it is cozy and chill and and fun, you know. Hey, Juby, how you doing? How you doing? It is nice to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, hope you're doing well. Um, but you were doing senior level things at your old job, but they kept moving the goalpost to be senior. Damn. That is so annoying, though. I hope they treat you better at you, your new job, though. Now you have to stream until your street gets broke. Oh, damn, you're right. You're right. I do. I do. I guess I do have to stream a little bit longer then. Um, That's a fair rating. Nothing wrong with the Zelda-like. Yeah, but it's a little bit too... Too Zelda-like. It's like sometimes it feels a little bit like a ripoff, but... I did receive the game for free, so it's like, I'm... I'm okay with it. But you are. How's the game treating you? I'm I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Um. But how's the game treating you? It's 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 okay. It is okay. But I do like the vibe and the and the and the chill music and everything though. I do like it. But how are you like how how have you, how have you been um been um. Wait, you've been playing Elden Ring, haven't you? Yeah. I haven't been. I haven't. Been, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Uh, I haven't been watching because I. I currently like I'm replaying Elden Ring uh, at New Game Plus, but the base game. So I haven't gotten to the DLC yet. So I'm trying really hard to avoid spoilers. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to avoid spoilers, but. Yeah. Soon-ish, we're gonna we're gonna get to it. 
So I'm going to be playing Elden Ring on, on the weekend, on Friday and Saturday. Their emote, that, that emote is very cute. Oh yeah, is it, is it, is it the, the, the... Um, is it the one called Sylveon or is it... I, do, I don't know all the, all the, all the Pokemons. <laughs> I don't know all the Pokemons. <laughs> Uh, but good, hope you can keep avoiding them. I've been doing a pretty good job so far. The only thing that I've gotten spoiled, I'm not gonna say it uh, for those who also don't want to get spoiled, but I have not seen it, but I've heard a name. <laughs> I've heard a name of a boss. That's pretty much it. Which is pretty good. It's That's a pretty, pretty... Uh small thing in comparison to, to what it could be. <laughs> Sylveon? Okay, okay, yeah. I, that's what I thought, but I, I, I'm i I'm not, I'm not, it's, we, we actually talked about Pokemon and Digimon uh, a few minutes ago, and then I was like, I never really got into either of them, like, fully. It was very casual. But I did, I did like how, with like Digimon, that it was very, uh, it was a little bit more serious, and it had like a continuous story throughout. So I did like that. Yeah. You heard the name of the final boss? Oh damn, that is so annoying. Maybe it's the same one that I have heard of as well, that I just don't, well, Again, I also don't know the order of, of any of them either, so I don't know if what I heard was the final boss or if it was something else. But I'm sorry, that really sucks. Stream, fully stream the DLC, you'd love to watch Journey. The DLC is so good. I will. I mean, I I that's that's the plan, because what I'm doing is... I'm doing a special playthrough of the, the the reason why I'm playing on New Game Plus is because I am I'm doing something called a weapon wheel spin. I'm just snoozing the ad. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm I'm too slow. Orion is is way ahead of me. Orion is way ahead of me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm doing a weapon wheel spin run where for each fifth sub or 1500 bits I have a wheel spin with 159 weapons on it that I will be using uh, for 20 minutes in the game and then so far I've used nine different weapons we have had four streams with it now I think it's been four, right? I think so. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, but the DLC is so good. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. And I I saw that you're gonna you're gonna stream. We're gonna stream that on Friday. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> it it is it is pretty funny. I know all of the Pokemon, Cramorant. Garbodor Miltank, Darkrai, Among Us, Mook, Trevenant, Talonflame, Squirtle, Wartortle, Charizard Sudowoodo, Garry's Radicate, Galarian, Rapidash, Alolan, Raichu, mm, Machoke. Dude, the, the, the Astorian Whisper TTS is, is so bad. <laughs> It's so bad. It doesn't even remotely sound like it. It's so bad. It's so bad. Thank you for that, Palm. Thank you. Um, <laughs> much okay. Much okay. Yeah. Will you upgrade them? I have done it with a few of them, but not every single one. But some of them I have uplo uh, uploaded, by the way. Upgraded. Um... But yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty fun. 
And surprisingly, because I, you know, I'm not a big bonk uh, person in these games. I, I tend to stick with decks. But the most fun that I've had has actually been with a big bonk weapon. <laughs> it's the rotten great axe. That was the, the that was the most fun out of them. That was the most fun out of them so far. I'm looking forward forward to one of the the more niche weapons though. If that happens, like the the envoy weapons. The 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 tooting horns, you know. I, I do I do hope that I'm gonna get that at some point because that <laughs> they're so funny. <laughs> Uh, rotten Great Axe, you're a big bond convert, so fun. Mm. It was a lot of fun, that weapon. Um, and it does uh, rot damage, obviously, because it's uh, a rot weapon. But it, it was a lot of fun. I actually ended up sticking with that for a while. Mm. Yeah, Orion has... Um, Orion has uh, full control over the weapons that I have gotten in the wheel spin. Friday evening, final boss attempt, so you'll understand avoiding spoilers. Mm. I'm I'm trying really hard to to not see anything, but at the same time, I've also been yeah, I've also gotten this uh, the badge, like the Elden Ring DLC badge. But I don't really understand how, because I have tried really hard to not be in anyone's streams. <laughs> um, big bonk manifesto. Mm. <laughs> you want to farm those bubble dudes in your new playthrough? They're so they're so much fun, but I haven't like given it a proper try yet. I have. I have the two biggest ones. I don't have the smallest horn. From what I know, I think there are three in total. So I have the medium one and the big one. And I didn't even farm for them. I got them without actually trying. I just saw the big enemy that had the big horn in in uh, the Haley tree. And I just attacked it and, and like and I, I think I got it on the first try. <laughs> And, I don't know, it was... And I learned that it was really rare to get them, because like it's it's one of the, the rarest drops in the game, or at least it used to be, I don't know if it is anymore. Yeah. But, uh, it... It is pretty fun. And I'm gonna be playing uh, Elden Ring on Friday as well. Yeah. I'm gonna be playing it on Friday as well. Um, what am I looking for? I feel like I'm a little bit stuck at this point. Yeah. There needs to be a mod where the hit audio is the bonk sound. Wait, what do you mean? Big bongs are the best, get high all the time. <gasps> You're slightly bummed you missed you, you missed the badge. Yeah. Honestly, that is understandable. Because even though I've tried to avoid them, yeah. I am kinda glad that I still got it. Also, we're getting an ad now. Um I'm not gonna do anything in particular. I'm just gonna yeah. run around and, and look for for what to do. So I don't think anyone is gonna miss anything. <laughs> I fixed it now. Wait, what did you mean? You know, like you like seeing it and it's cool. Please use it if you want to. Oh wait, you changed it. It's like the Pride Pog emote that you don't have. Um, 
I thought you had it. I thought you had it. You also really like the wolf armor set. The raging wolf. Do I know... Yeah. Wait, is that like something from the DLC? Yeah. Because if so, then I do not know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, but I mean... It's from the base game? Okay. I'm just really bad at the names of everything. Uh, I don't know where to go. What was in here again? Isn't this where the beach is? Yeah. Wait, wait, we are not gonna bother with that. It's that helm is also the tarnished helmet from the trailers. Get it from Landell in the Round Tail Wolf physical place, you're pretty sure. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it's it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long that I don't remember. Um Let us see. Where to? Where to? Where to? Uh, you done s much to secure the village and recover a lost resident. If you have further questions about the primordial mask, call to in the dark forest is your best source of information. Stay safe. I have talked to him. He mentioned underground, but I. This is the guy that wanted the 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 glue, but I don't know where to find the glue. Preparing a mask for those legendary warriors must have been a great honor for the ancient blacksmiths. Mm, but where do I find the glue? Because if he gives me the microphone, then I can give it to the guy with the um, uh, with the guitar, and he will give me a vinyl that I can give to yeah. that I can give to um, the guy in the graveyard with the gramophone. So I, I need it. I need it. Uh, do you have more villagers in your pocket? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh damn, you don't let me jump over there? Okay. Well, okay then. I really need some glue though. I guess I don't have any other choice than to, to go this way. Leave the area. Hm. But yeah, I think after this stream... Yeah. I think this is the last stream we're gonna be playing this game. And then just... Play something else, because... I don't know. I think I'm just gonna continue playing it off stream. Because I've reached a point where I, I have so many games that I want to play on stream that I feel like I need to start being a little bit more picky. Unless, you know, this was because I, because I got the game free. Um, but I'm not obligated to finish the game. So there's no point in me finishing it on stream. If I'm not like fully 
enjoying it to that extent that I feel like that is necessary or something that I really want to. The only reason why I feel like I need to finish games on stream is now because of the, the VODs for YouTube and stuff. Because if people aren't in streams and they watch stuff on YouTube, not that I think a lot of people would do that, but... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know now. I know where to... Go. Oh, shh. Okay. I know where to go. But first, let me go and see if anything has changed with these. Hey Shane, how you doing? Um, so you would still have three games? Probably not right away. I'll probably wait a little bit before I start a new game. So I'm probably gonna stick to two for a little while. Um, but I'm not going to promise anything, though. It, it kind of depends on, on my mood. Because last week I was really ready to start playing Nine Souls. But then I didn't because I ended up being sick uh, a lot last week, so I didn't get to play as, or stream as much as I wanted to. Stars in space and time and <laughs> Elden Ring, yeah. Um, maybe you can name it not finished or something for YouTube. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. But you're doing okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm also doing good. I'm just really tired. And also now it's like 1.30, which is not that late for me, even though it is. It's late, but it's not usually that late late for me but I've been so tired these past couple of days um something so people would know it would not be finished for a video it's fine it's fine water has returned to the village the idols are still protecting us and the princess as well this is what is this what happiness feels like probably <laughs> Pro I'm gonna I'm gonna say probably yes. That tunic is that a dodo tunic from the old times? Um, uh, sure. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna fast travel. I haven't actually done that yet. Um, in the game. As I go, yeah, it's one thirty. Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach here. Um, I think. Also, I feel like I didn't finish this area fully. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach. Because now I can swim. I can swim now for longer, so I can go and get some, some of the stuff here. Um... This one. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. <gasps> hello again, Palm. You should learn numbers properly. I mean, isn't that the time for you, though, Orion? Is that new? 
Dude, stop it. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the... Wait. Were these here before? I feel like they weren't. I think only the slimes were. Yeah, these were not supposed to be here now. Interesting. Good luck with your adventure, Waiko. We're bound to cross paths again in other places. Keep exploring. Yes, okay, okay, okay. But why are you here, though? It felt like you needed to do uh, that once a stream when you can. <laughs> wait, oh, yeah, wait. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to get to the water here because there's something that I need to swim over to, but I didn't have enough to be able to swim for that long. Thank you. S -s slurp. Yeah, my bottle makes makes some 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 slurpy sounds. This is risky, but I think we can do it. We could, we could do it. Is that all? Well, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money, but... Melf and bottle together makes the slurp a dream, a slurp reality. <laughs> if you if you say so, Palm. If you say so. Let's see. There are also some places where I can use the bomb thing that I couldn't before. Yeah. He doesn't have anything new to say. Nothing new to say. Von Malvitok. Uh... I think there might be something on the other side here, where I can use the, the bomb. I think, maybe, possibly. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I did remember. Hopefully that's close enough. Yeah. <gasps> Inferno mask. Convert the flower bomb explosions from your flow flow ob mask to fire blasts instead.
dealing fire damage over time to enemies in addition to the regular explosion. That seems pretty useful. Pretty useful. B bus bussiness, yeah, bussiness. That's the that's the word. You all are useful. Uh, thank you. I think. <laughs> so are you, Palm. So are you. Yeah. yeah there's nothing new here either. Uh, assistant, bussiness, rect, rect. <laughs> okay, Paul. Okay. Okay. Let us see. We. I don't know. I don't know. One goal in your life is that you will be able to use real life, you know. Uh, Uno, Uno, by the way. Uno. <laughs> Uno reverse card in situation. Mm. I did swim over there. So there's... I don't think there's anything else here. Um... Let, let, let to see? Yeah, let to see. We're gonna fast travel out of here. Like a real physical Uno reverse card. Mm. I hope one day you will be able to, Orion. Let's go here. Can't swim if you eated, but I haven't eated. Well, I mean, it's been a while. Which I can kind of feel like I, I need to eat soon. So that's why it's good that I, I, I swam before. Was there really nothing else here? Let us see in indeed. Mm. There's no point in that. Good to know. Good to know. Then we will leave again. You would if you had those pockets, but you're not very even carrying one now in your wallet or anything. Maybe you should, all right. Maybe you should. Where will I end up when I go out this door? No food in food allowed for swimming. Wait, what? <laughs> Bet it's for cheating. Oh, this is where we end up, okay. Yeah. 
this is where we end up. I think I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up the game. Whew. A delectable slice of the village renowned ho cheese. It's a shame you're allergic to it. Wait, what do I need to use this cheese for? Oh yeah, I need to use it in the in the in the in the pot thing. Okay. Wait, maybe I should go to the save point first. Which should be here, this way. Uh, but interesting people sell those separately as well. It's so close to four... four well, I mean, we, we're gonna talk a little while before I end. Don't you worry. There's still time. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't rob Orion, okay? <sighs> I yawned so much today. Hold on, let me, let me put on some music. Actually, let me skip that one. There we go. 13 times. I feel like I've yawned just 13 times today on stream. Um. <laughs> when did you last go swimming? I don't even remember, if I'm being honest. No, actually, you know what? I think I mentioned this on stream not too long ago. Um, I had a midnight swim with all my clothes on. Um, I think that was summer 2017. <laughs> don't don't spam though, no palm. But yeah, that's that's probably correct. A midnight splish, yeah. It was a very spontaneous idea. To be fair, most of my ideas are pretty spontaneous. I'm not much of a planner. Um, <laughs> not much of, I'm not much of a planner. Um, can't set it any other way, but you didn't have to do it at all. <laughs> um. Wait, no, stop it! You, you Now you're spamming even more! Stop it, Palm! <laughs> Just leave it, it's fine. It's fine. You're moving- yeah, but it, it, it pops up in my chat that it, you deleted the messages. But anyway, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Um... But yeah, you know, it's like, it's like, this, this game has been, it's been fun. I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. But I don't think it's that great for stream. Or like, I, I, well, not necessarily stream, but just... My conclusion is... That I... I don't know. I didn't really ha have like super high expectations beforehand. So I didn't go into it being super excited about it or anything. So I'm, I'm kind of neutral about it. I'm kind of neutral about it. And it's, it's, it's been fun. But it's not something that I would like to come back to, I don't think. I mean, I, I do have a little bit of OCD when it comes to um, 
getting achievements and stuff. So I'm, I'm probably just gonna do that and then I'm never gonna touch the game again. That That is my honest opinion about the game. It's one of those games where you just, you know, you play it once and you never, probably never think about it again. Um, unfortunately, but that is how it is. You're the w no, you stop it, Palm. You're not. Stop saying that. Um. <laughs> Pet best design. <laughs> I don't even know what DDT stands for either. Um. I don't know what it stands for either. <laughs> but yeah, don't, don't self-deprecate in my stream. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. You focusing so hard right now. <laughs> I like how Orion always does like the prefix before any word that they they're using with like my emote prefix. <laughs> it, it never fails to make me laugh. Well, I mean, it's not like I laugh every single time, but I like internally. I laugh, even if I don't laugh out loud, you know? You don't know if uh, that's worse than being in a headlock and being slabbed on the ground. <laughs> Vepric Richard. Yeah, Vepric Richard. <laughs> um. Alright, no, you, di you almost did it. Time to end stream. You she she has broken. Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry. It's so hard to time it sometimes because it's like, is it is it? Do you need to be quick? Do you need to be ahead of it, or do you need to be slightly behind? Because it's like it doesn't seem like there's a one good way to do it. Go to five. No, no, not today. Not today. I'm too tired. I am too dead today. Like I wanted to end when there was an ad break earlier, but then I was like, no, I have to. I I, I do have to wait a little while longer. I should wait a little while longer. But that's when I wanted <laughs> wanted to end because I'm so tired, <laughs> and I feel so bad when I'm like super low on energy when I stream because it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. One more hour and ten minutes too, please. No! <laughs> but it stands for Dramatic Dream Team. It's a wrestling thing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not familiar with the lingo there. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes ahead and sometimes behind. Mm. When you tested, it was like two second delay. Mm. At least you got the cheap versions. Yeah, that's true, Ryan. You you did get not one win, but two wins. You did do it. Thanks for providing cozy place to lurk as always. Hope you get good sleep. Thank you so much for saying that, Craig. That is very nice of you to say. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here. Um, Next stream, which will be on Friday, we're gonna be playing more Elden Ring DLC uh, with the weapon wheel spin. Which I'm looking forward to. But yeah, so for those who... Like, this is a disclaimer. Like, it's not like it has to happen that we do the weapon wheel spin because it is it is incentivized, you know? So it's just, I do have, like, my go-to build that I use whenever that's not applicable. So it's not like it's a pure weapon wheel spin run. It's, it's just an extra thing, really. It's just an extra thing. So, no one has to feel like that is what the stream has to be about or anything, you know? Uh, there's easiest um, time, but they don't look as cool. True, true. I tell you, I'd wrestle you. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Do you think that I, I would be scared, Palm? Happy August. It is August. It's true. I actually like August. I like August. 
it's a good month. It's a good month. Um, a Vepric spin. Mm. It's August already. It is. It is. It is August already. This summer has been not warm at all. But now it's starting to get warm. It's starting to get warm now. Time to change your dog on the calendar. <laughs> I like how pup time shows up with that. But it had more uh, type of emotes than I thought it would. Like the, the, the nap ones. If you type in nap, it shows like sleepy emotes. I, we need to figure out how many words will trigger it because... I wonder how many, uh, how many triggers there are. No, just, just nap. Well, it happened before. Sleep. Maybe it has a cooldown, I don't know. It happened before, though. Time needs to stop flying. Yeah, it needs to walk. He needs to walk. And the other day was pizza as well. Mm. Mayonnaise. <laughs> I think they need to be nap in a sentence. A rhyme. <laughs> Ananas on pizza. Pizza. Ryan, thank you so much for gifting a sub to uh, Ananas on Pizza. Thank you, thank you. Hey, look, we are fairly close, well, to, to the goal now. So, once we hit 75 new sub points, I will be doing uh, the Ronnie cosplay, and it will happen, obviously, during a uh, an Elden Ring stream. It will happen during an Elden Ring stream. Mm. No, no, I've had... <laughs> it might snap one day. It's true, it's true. I, I wouldn't go as far as saying Heart of Gold, though. That that seems uh, undeserved. Um... <laughs> but it, it didn't have anything to do with dogs or cats, Pom. It was just sleepy emotes of, of people and stuff. It was just basic uh, sleep emotes, which was surprising. Because it didn't have anything to do with animals. Um... Wait, what if we... What I'm just gonna say what I'm... What if Fox... What if Fox... What if it shows Fox? No, maybe... Maybe it doesn't work if I do it. Maybe it doesn't work if the streamer does it. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how this bot works. I'm trying to figure out how... But now it does pizza again. Yeah, there it is. There's the pizza ones. Oh yeah, yeah, it got it got triggered by the, the pineapple on pizza emote. Yeah, that emote procted last time as well. Yeah, it did, it did. <laughs> what if Fox? What if what if Kitty? <laughs> uh, what if Pop Time? Yeah. Yeah, we need to, we need to figure out all the different triggers for this because now I am curious. I am very curious to see. It's funny though with the pizza emotes. I guess I need to figure out uh, like maybe maybe we need to have uh, a pizza emote so that pop time can can use it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Next trigger no. <laughs> Uh, he once was in a chat 
where the actual pop time dude visited as pop time. Oh, interesting. It was grand. Mm. Pi Piazza. Mm. You had a question before we go. Have you heard of Black Myth Sun Wukong? I have. I have. Um, and I have. It's one of my my uh, most anticipated games this year. I am. I am. I am interested in playing it. I don't know if it's gonna happen like right away, but hopefully. I am looking forward to it. It looks a lot I like a lot of fun. And I have it in my wish list too, so I am I am prepared. I am I am waiting for it. Wait, does that come in August? Wait, is it that close? Because I thought that it would be like in like late summer or early autumn or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's see. It is 20th August. Wait, it's it's less than a month away. Holy crap. Okay, maybe Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on August 20th. Yeah. I've had it in my wish list for a really, really long time. I don't remember when they first showed trailers, but I was like, yeah, I need to play this. I need to play this. <laughs> Which uh, is the next horror game can make you play? Mm. Good question. I have a lot of... Well, I have some in my library already. Um, I, I want to play... Wait, what is that game called again? There was one game that I bought that I wanted to play on stream. But I need to... Paranormasite. And it has really good rating as well. It's called... Well... Paranormasite, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. It's a Square Enix game. And it is... It has overwhelmingly positive ratings on Steam. So I am... I am... Planning on playing that sometime this year. Um, one of their trailers completely sold you on it. Mm. Yeah, the trailers looks they, they look really good. Paranormous Sight, yeah. Paranormous Sight. Wukong is also name of one champion in League of Legends. Is it is it a is it a monkey? Is it a monkey dude? Spooky October? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to. Uh, like, every year, I, I want to do some horror games, but when October comes, I just... I'm not really in the mood for horror games, and then I'm in the mood later on or earlier or something. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... Take it as we go, I think. But hopefully, hopefully. You might be super busy after Monday. Is it because you the 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 the, um, the is it a course or is it at, like school? But it was a course, wasn't it? Does it start up on Monday? He is a uh, Vostein, Vostein, so it's like monkey and human hybrid. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, Wukong is like a legend, uh, like a Chinese legend. Like a monkey king, I think. Is isn't it something like that? I don't I don't fully remember the story, but it is like a a myth or a legend in in China. From China. You gonna get big brained? Vestians are like hybrid between humans and different animals or something, you forget the lingo. Mm. A diploma program. Mm. Okay, okay. 
Yeah. I do I do remember you talking about it. And I am I'm happy for you, Pom. I'm happy for you. I hope it's something that brings you a lot of joy. Or fulfillment. The trailer was called What Do You See in Him? But it's not a typical gameplay. It's a Chinese legend from a book. Mm. gonna get that anxiety i mean it's normal to have some anxiety when you do something new for the first time well new for the first time that's a little bit redundant but you know what i mean <laughs> it, it, it's normal to have some anxiety when it's unfamiliar and new and but i'm sure that you will get into it and you will enjoy it just started to click the office keys that go with the song <laughs> You didn't like that mini game? Mm. Wait, so you use keyboard? What did I use? I don't know if I used the keyboard, if I used the controller. I think I tried both. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, the music that I've been playing all day here, um because it doesn't get it doesn't get uh muted or like copyrighted on, on YouTube. Uh it's from a game called melatonin which is like a rit with a rit rhythm game which is really good didn't know or realize you could use controller that would maybe help you tons wait you didn't yeah most of those games do have controller support um but some people would say that keyboard might be easier but i think i mean i guess it depends i guess it depends I guess it depends. Depends on the controller, depends on the keyboard, the response time and everything, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find someone to raid though. Let's see if we can find someone to raid. I think for the space bar you change it to like B or something because space is not reliable. Mm. And you tried adjusting the timing but it didn't work. The trailer is an innuendo about monetized games and single player games because the studio usually does monetize games but if you remember correctly it's their first single player game. Well that's good. Because... Do you guys remember when they said that single player games were dead and it was all about multiplayer competitive games and stuff so it's interesting when people start going the other way around because oh no he he brought a mouse in i think yeah you can see he's going going all crazy Old man out of touch, that's who said it. Mm. Good cat. He is a good cat. But I just wish that he didn't bring them inside. Um, they were for a while. I don't know. Depends on what type of games you tend to prefer. Because indie games, I feel like, has always been good. Because... Well, there's a lot more variety, you know? Who should we raid, though? Those who seek danger over cheese <laughs> don't tend to live as long. <laughs> How very true, Ryan. Though. Though. <laughs> Though, <laughs> thank you for the 30 bits. <laughs> Hold on, let me see, let me see. Oh, I am loving my new, my new sweater. It's so big and it's so comfy. It's so comfy. Let's see, let's 
messy. Do you guys want to watch... You get two options. Do you want to watch Octopath Traveler or do you want to watch Phasmophobia? Or like this is also like even if you're not gonna hang hang out or stick around, just just help me decide anyways. <laughs> Which one would you prefer? Even if you're not gonna stick around and watch, but I mean, it would be nice if you did. But you know, even if you're not, uh, Octopath Traveler or Phasmophobia. Phasma sounds good. Okay, okay. Well, that means that we're gonna raid uh, a good friend of uh, our mod, uh, Jean. Which sorry that she will miss out on it, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna raid we're gonna raid Jiner then, and he's playing with Lila. The playing together. So let's do that. I, I don't know if I've ever actually raided Jiner. Maybe once. I think maybe once. So this is a good, good idea. So yeah, let us, let us raid Jiner. He is, he has a lot of uh, cool raccoon emotes as well. <laughs> And he's, he's a lot of fun. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He's a chill guy and he's a funny guy. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Dude, I want to I wanna copy the raid message. <laughs> but yeah, if you're subbed, you can copy the, the one with the rolling fox. If you're not subbed, you can copy the one with the, with the, 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 the cars. Those are for non-subs. Um... Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Uh, I've had a good time. Even though, you know, the game is kind of meh. But at least I feel like we've had a good time anyway. Just chilling, hanging out, chatting, laughing, ranting. You know, all the things. Mm, you have to go to sleep in a lot of pain. No, feel better. Don't, don't, don't be in pain. I hope you feel better, though. And thank you so much for being here. It was nice to see you. Um, stay for uh, Palm. You're all good. It was still fun and, and chill. Mm, that's good. But yeah, on Friday we're gonna be playing Elden Ring. We're gonna be playing Elden Ring, not the DLC. Just saying. But yeah, have a good one.